Hey, hang sangria, hope you're out via. It's your boy N O R E. What up? It's DJ E F N. And it's Drink Chance Motherfucking Podcast. Make, Make some noise! <laughs> and right now, and right now, I gotta do the introduction. This is not only my brother. It's not only a person I knew for 20 years, kept mm. it real, me and him never changed. Always mm. see each other, always smile, always proud of each other. Mm. But not only that, top five producer of all Hands times. Down. Damn. All times. I'm talking about from the and I'm talking about from the beginning of the hip hop to right now. Maybe top three. Damn. Shit. He's been here. He's been he's made albums. He's made artists. He's took artists from people he's from an executive. just in he's Yonkers an executive. To all over the world with the yep. sound that he made, he continuously changed the sound of music. Changed the sound of music with me when he made a record for me, and we gonna get into that later. Mm. And mm. people started following our sound. Literally, this man has kept continuing going from the highest up. He's worked with them all. Tonight we have my brother, my good friend, top five, top maybe top three, <laughs> best producer of all time. Pressure, <laughs> music mogul. Mm-hmm. Beautiful life, beautiful wife, beautiful children. Thank you. He should, you should look at his Instagram and aspire to be that good with your kids. Alhamdulillah. This is a fact. Make some noise for my brother, Swiss Beats. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, drinks champ time, so, so listen, time. This, is, this is DJ EFN, this yes. is Swiss Beats, that's yes. how of the sound, listen, so Like your juvenile shirt, bro at, Yeah, yeah, you, we, we, we keep it real hip-hop over yes, here, see, Swiss So as you know, we yeah. salute we salute our legends. We give our people their flowers when they can smell them and their trees when they can inhale them. I this is a show that we celebrate our legends. You know, so many people, uh, uh, that was me. So many people. Um, busy, busy. Uh, uh, you know, once you get 10 years in this game, people say it's over for you and things like that. That's not what we do here. So I just wanted to explain that. But I want to let you know that tonight we are celebrating the legacy of Swiss motherfucking beats. Make some noise once again. Take it from the beginning. I want to take Damn. it from the beginning, very early on, yeah. because I believe the first time, the um, what, what was it? Rough Rider Anthem was that the first time? Mm-mm. No, what was the first time people heard? Um, the first time I think was this group called the Reaps, mm. right? Okay, and and the Reaps was signed. Who was they signed to? They were signed to. Um, What's our brother that 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 manages? Um, he managed Usher, mm. um, big 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 exec. I'm forgetting his name. Mm. Brother that had the stroke. Oh, um, Shakira Stewart. Mm-mm, mm-mm. Okay. Um, oh. He's gonna kill me for that. I'm. Y'all gotta excuse me. I'm straight. Right. I'm from Shanghai, from right. Dubai, Texas. Let's make some noise. Shanghai and Dubai. Let's make some noise with that oh. international thug. Uh-huh. Mark, what's it? Mark, um, uh, um, um, Mark Pitts. Pitts. Mark Pitts. Mark Pitts. Uh, okay. Thank you. See, there you we work go. with Biggie too, right? Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah, Mark Pitts, legendary. Yes. And Mark Pitts had stop, drop, beat before everybody for about three thousand. He wanted to get it to fifteen. I was like, I'm cool. Thank God. I, uh. I said that. Uh. But I get, I, I did the reaps, and then I did flip mode squad. Uh. Oh, wow. Um, run for cover. And then I met this fly dude named N O R E. Yeah, I know where you going. That's right. And then it, it was legend. We 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 we, did, we, we uh, disrespected a couple of things and was banned from TV. Banned from mm. TV, guys. And then it. at that same time, Cameron Glory mm-hmm. with my brother N O R E. Oh, that's right. I was on that. That's, that's right. right. And I said, "What am I doing?" Yeah. yeah. And then um, Ted Rufoff came after Ted that. Ted Rufoff. And but, then my Rough Rider family damn, accepted. Damn, all that before the oh, Rough Rider. That's crazy. I always thought Rough Rider Anthem came out first, nah, no? Nah, nah, nah. So you was on it before that. Yeah, wow. was, yeah, yeah. No, I this, knew I was early. This, yeah. this, this, this is this is pun sleeping on the couch. Word. Nori telling me. Hold on, hold on. We got to okay, get okay, that okay. totally okay. separate. We got to okay, get that okay, totally okay, separate. Okay, okay. So now, your uncle is actually, because people, people don't understand that that's your real uncle. Mm. Like, people think when you say uncle, they think that you're saying, like, Uncle, like who raised you, but not really. This is your mother's brother, correct? My father's brother. Your father's brother. Yeah. And and he is D and Wa. Both of those D and Wa. Founders of Rough Yeah, yeah. So, so how hard? Go ahead, come that on. That hard tatted on my arm is, is real life for real. Right. And one thing that people don't 
understand it probably in 2017 is you know, Rough Riders was in the streets before music. Mm. Right. You know, from the bikes, 200, 300,000 bikers, mm. street respected, mm. you know, before a lot of different names uh, with logos and letters in front of them, you know, my family was literally in the streets. Like a and, street movement. And it was my grandfather that mm. was running Harlem at that time, building up the buildings, you know, um, EMAM at that time running the FOI at that time and uh -huh. you know the the movement that we had going was 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 going against what my grandfather movement was and so he made us make a choice mm -hmm. y'all going to do that if y'all going to do the street vibe and, and 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 take away from the positivity that I'm putting in the community y'all got to leave mm -hmm. or y'all going to have a problem with us oh, shit. and those are the triple OGs right? Right. right and so um my uncle Juan you know he uh had this artist that he was talking about, DMX, Harlem Nights, mm. a couple of other artists. And then we just, you know, changed the whole direction into a positive way, still kept it street. Now, DMX yeah. was like the first artist that Rough Rider signed, correct? Yes. Um, yeah. I mean, that got signed to a major label. Yeah. And Before the locks? Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. They were... No, 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 no. Was it Locks first? No, it was X first. Yeah, Locks had it. Yeah, Locks had it. Even before Locks the deals, deal though, who was, who was first with Rough Riders? Locks X has DMX. been X has been first. Locks was X pups. Mm -hmm. You understand? That's how X said it on here too. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's that that's that's how that went. But I can't say they was concurrent. I can't say that my uncle Y had them in the studio at the same time. Mm. You know, I remember hearing more songs from the Locks. Uh, studio done than X. X was more mixtape vibe at that particular time, and I, I love both of them. I, I remember. I, I, I wish I can get those beginning mixtapes that I heard from them because it's just it, it was just they was in a very authentic space at that time. But X being Still. so authentic and X being like he's like there's never be another X. But what I'm asking you That's is, tough. did you know that from the beginning? Yes, I did. From the beginning, like even before, like he met with Leo with the jaw wire. X calling right there. Who got their phone on? Yeah, you got stomped out in the studio. Mr. Leo, oh my God, you're not Mr. Leo. 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 You're not M
I didn't use all the excuses that I could have used not to. Now we heard rumors of Rock Nation at first, but now we're hearing epic, epic, epic things are going on. I mean, what the dog is? Mm. <clears throat> He's epic. Mm. He's an epic energy. Mm. He's an epic vibe. Mm. He's an epic inspiration. Mm. There's none before, none to come after. Mm. And we got to protect that That's right. by any means necessary. And but I think the most important part is a relationship with two brothers. Mm, it's right. like like the music, the music, the music comes later. You know, the fact that you can reach and pull your brother up with you and, and, and walk that same That's walk amazing. to right. me is more than the money, more than the deal, more than music. Like I fuck with X right now because he's spiritually and mentally ready. Mm. He's always been lyrically ready. Right. But if you're not spiritually and mentally ready to go out to the world, then it's a waste of, it's a waste of time. Everybody right. can want the return of him, but he got to want the return for himself. Right. But it's like it's like you just saying because like everybody, you know, we see you on the gram and you have a luxurious life. Like you don't really have to do a DMX album. So what really drives you? I think I do. Mm. I think I break do. that down because like money doesn't define you or your lifestyle make doesn't, noise de- for that, doesn't damn define it. you. Like, <laughs> make some noise for that, man. It's serious. Like you know, when when you go back and you look at the things that really make sense is brotherhood. You know, I, I know a lot of rich billionaires, and I call them poor kings. Yeah. Mm. They got yeah, big yeah. boats, hookers on them, no family, no nothing. Is that really living life? Mm. They're not happy at all. They're not happy. I don't care about your money. Like, mm. I, I, I never even did music for money. Mm. I did music for a feeling, for an expression, mm. for an outlet that I couldn't express in an academic way, you know, that I figured out how to do in a creative way, mm. you know? And, and I never, and, and I understood, I'm like, wow, you know, this kid that's being quiet in class is smarter than all of us. Mm. You understand? And we just gotta give that person a chance to identify that, you know, X has a long history of a lot of different things that a lot of people are gonna understand in this album. Mm. And you understand, like, why he's, who he is. It, there's right. a reason from that, from birth. Right. From the way he was treated, from the way he was handled, from the way he was delivered. Right. That's the reason why X seemed like the way he is. It's not because he's just uh, portraying a certain style. Mm-hmm. People like to say, yo, X is the closest thing to pop. <clears throat> I say X is the closest thing to nobody. Yeah, to nobody. <laughs> yeah, because I, I, I seen mean, that it's, man it's, with thirty it, million in the bank writing in the abandoned buildings with, with, with candles where we had to find out. X gave right. his money away. Right. He didn't blow his money. He gave his money away to homeless right. people. I see this man take shoes off his feet, sit down like this, and people in this room seeing this part of this man. Right. I can't leave that stranded. Right. Right. And, right. Nah. Let's make some noise for that. God damn it. God damn it. I feel like it's Bacardi shot time. Are we are we ready for that? Yeah, Bacardi, Bacardi shot. Bacardi, 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 Bacardi eight. Bacardi eight. Let's this do Bacardi it. Eight. Bacardi eight. Go ahead. You know. pour, pour some ice in my shit. No, no, no. You want no. ice? Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm nah, you don't need no ice. You don't need no ice with the eight. I'm in. Bacardi eight. This the new shit. I got this you. Is, like, this I got is, you. Is, Big up to Bacardi people. Let me tell you something about Bacardi eight. I'm in. In three, in three, you know, I got a, I got a activation called no commissions, and no commissions for the artists. For the artists. Art people. We give 100% back to the artists of what they sell. Mm. And let me give you a number. Mm. In the last three shows, we gave mm. back to the artists $3 million. Wow. So that's why we're going to take this Bacardi mm. shot. You understand? Oh. For giving back to the artists and the people Cheers, in their brother. pocket. Cheers to that. Cheers, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that's smooth. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to lie. Shout out to Bacundo. It tastes like Puerto Rico. Yeah. I respect that. I remember. Yeah. Via, via Cuba. From Puerto Rico. Via Cuba. Remember, we, right. I told you that on time. Come on, man. Via Show Cuba. Him the Relax. I told him. Relax. Relax. <laughs> we made a big Bacardi guy. He wouldn't believe me when we first met. I believe you. I've been believed you. Hey, I, yeah, been, I, I, can't, I can't believe <laughs> that I'm sitting in front of my brother N.O. at this table. That's right. And this That's is awesome. his fucking show. That's right. Ladies and gentlemen, good Me and my partner here, we celebrate hip hop, man. And one of the craziest beats of all time to me was Jigga, what's my motherfucking name? Who 
Can, I can't curse on this show? You can curse. curse. You can do whatever you want. No, I, I, I was doing mumble rap. Mumble rap got me fucked up. Mumble rap got me fucked up. So I'm like, you know. But listen, when I heard that, I want to say I thought you played it for me once. And it said Nori. But I'm bugging, right? I'm bugging. But in my mind, I'm like, Swift played that for me. But yo, that. Do you remember that time? Bronx Cafe. Go ahead. Jimmy's Cafe. I remember the first. Like it came out, Flex had dropped it. Mm. Boom! Right, Flex had it, and this is this is this time. If Flex play a record, which New York City should go back to, if Flex play a record, Flex on it that. He go. on Flex that right now. That. Big up Flex. Shout to Flex. He on but, that right now. But let me just say something. He he played it. We ain't never heard it. Flex played it, and it was like the whole city knew the record already. I'm talking about that night. <laughs> the nigga dropped it at seven o'clock. We went to the club. Everybody was like, yeah, uh, we knew the lyrics." Do you know who sang in the hook, Jagger? I have no idea. Eve. Oh uh, no! Listen, I never knew listen that. Listen to the record close, but the rec- the original record was Jada. Wow, oh, that's oh, what it was. Oh, it wasn't Nori. It was Jada, and he didn't want it. He didn't want oh, it. That's and then crazy. Jigger came out. Oh. And we got into some words. Uh, Shout out to Jada. Yo, did he ever I, drop a verse on that? Yeah, I feel like you want to finish that no, story. No, he, yeah. he didn't drop a so, verse on that. Okay. But you know what? That's what I was. Shout out to I, Jada for giving back those clothes to the homeless. When I get back to New York, right. we're going to give out, like, and even everybody in the yeah, show. Yeah, I just seen them do that. Take it's all this stuff that y'all got in your closet, mm. pull up the truck. Like, I, I, I shout out to Jada for that initiative. For that yeah, that was dope. That, I see that, that on epic, the but phone. Jada had Jigga first. That's, that's what it was. I think you played me um, Jada. I think that's what it was. And, and you know, and, most of my I was records, like, Damn. Okay. most of my records, when they come out, they're not who they were for. Mm. Right? Like, Bring Him Out was when Beanie Siegel got out of jail. Oh, bring Him oh, Out, Bring Him oh, Out. Oh, no. I mean, right? <laughs> Makes sense. You know what I'm saying? Makes sense. But I well, thought, oh, I thought it was handcrafted know, uh, for T.I. Touch, touch It was for Eve. I know. I heard Buster told me that story. You know what I'm Touch It was for okay. Eve. Mm. DMX didn't like Stop Drop. You know what I'm saying? Like, so, you know, you none of my records really went to the people that. So, I but do you know the impact of that, what it did to the city? Yeah, that was like, that was it. It was like, Swiss is it. If you ain't got a Swiss beat, <laughs> like for real, like yeah, it was like at that moment, like and I'm j- trust me, I want to claim it because I worked with them earlier, right, big time. You see what I'm saying? I want to, but I remember that record was just. I feel like, like Nori discovered me and the Neptunes. Oh, let's make some wow. noise for that. Yeah. 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 Let's not, let's not play around right, when we at right, this right. table. Right, right. Right. Yeah, thank you, Swiss. That's crazy. And when I, I say that, say like, amazing. like I, I was, I, I, I was producing other people, <laughs> mm. but Nori was spreading the word about who I was right. in a way I never, I never, I oh. never seen an artist at his level doing that for me. He was the first artist that people came back and be like, "Yo, Nori said we should be in the studio with you." Yo. So who are we doing? I'm like, right. damn. He was like, Nah. Let me just tell you something about that. Now. now let me let me just go back to Big Him because you were like. 18, 17? Because I'm Seven, 39 now. 17, I'm 38. Okay, so yeah, so. Damn, I ain't even know we that close. Yeah, yeah, I'm 39 now. Ass so so, so <laughs> I looked, I looked, and it was like, you know, he a, he a young nigga, but everybody thought I was older anyway. So this nigga paid me nothing. Now we're going to get in the band from TV4. <laughs> nothing but fire. Like, And I'm talking about that's, you know, I'm going I'm to I'm get into a story. It's going to sound crazy, but look, I developed what, what? Because... Think about Nas' style at that time. He was cool. Think about Prodigy's style right. at the time. He was cool. Mm. Havoc style, cool. Capone, my own partner, they were cool. And I was like, I'm not really cool. Like, I mean, I'm cool, <laughs> but I'm not like, I'm like a hyper guy. It suits you now. Yeah. It makes sense So now. I developed the what, what. So I needed somebody to compliment that with the energy. So I went there. We don't know. Band from TV was an original record. It was supposed to be me and Nature, remember? Wow. And Nature, I, I had laid a verse, and Nature couldn't get with the, with the. he had like wrote to some other song, and he couldn't write the verse. But this, so, wasn't he on it? No, 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 no. He's yeah, on Band from TV, yeah, yeah. but I'm saying this is the original. The original, <laughs> well, it wasn't Band from TV. It was some other got shit. Got it, got it, got it. Another beat and that then, I did? Yeah, yeah, this is I all you. This is all, Electric Lady, this is all you. Damn. 
And then the at like the last hour, I was like, yo, Nate, I can't just stay here. He was like, let me try another beat. And you threw on band from TV, and from that moment on, I never seen a person write a verse so fast. <laughs> Nature wrote that shit in five minutes. He said it, right? Didn't he five. said it? He, I'm talking about that shit was electric. Like, I'm like, and I mind you, I wrote a murder verse. I was mad at all of them right. because they didn't even let the beat play. It was, they just <laughs> right kept rapping the to the intro. <laughs> <laughs> they don't understand, like, what? the band, the band no, from TV beat. Oh, what? The beat I heard from Bam from TV is just the intro oh, to the beat. No. <laughs> they didn't even let the beat no. turn. Like, they're not going to let the beat play like that. <laughs> this is it right so here. So it like, just got looped? The, the intro got looped. That's Bam from TV. It was a beat that came after that. Why? Right. You understand? Right. Like, I, I never understood. Like, God, look, hey, let, let me tell you. Let me tell you how I remember it. Let me tell you how I remember it, right? That's funny as shit. I had shit. called Bun, because I figured, let me finish. I had already laid the verse for Nature on a different Swiss beat. So I had called Pun just to hang out. Like, yo, come hang out. Because Pun never asked to get on the record, by the way, but we'll get to that, right? <laughs> So I just called him just to hang out. Hey, what's up? I ain't know the story. So I called him just to hang out. So when Nature came around to the beat, we Swiss switched it. Nature wrote to it real fast. Pun is in the cou- the, the lounge. She's like, I'm going to use the bathroom. He's in the lounge, laying and- on the couch with an Uzi next to him. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Let's no, not get soon- it twisted. Yeah, that, that was in the beginning. That's why Nature was laying his verse. As soon as Nature finished laying his verse, Pun went in and snuck in. And <laughs> just laid <laughs> a <the> verse. <laughs> I'm not the smartest guy in the world. Yeah. He just kept looking at me. You going to erase that shit? <laughs> you going to erase that? I'm like, oh, I'm like, ah, I'm like, nah. And I call. Rest in pieces of pun. He bodied that thing. And, Yo, and, and who, who's next? Is pun? Cam? Cam didn't the come that night. Jada and Styles? No, Cam did come that night. I got Jada and Styles another day. Styles was on there too? Yeah, yeah Jada and Styles. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Jada oh, and Styles. And then yeah, Cam right. must have came then. And I got the, the only people I didn't get was uh, Jada and Ken, um, Jada and Styles. I gotta but play that song again. That 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 was so. Do you remember what that record did to the tunnel? It, it was it was dangerous. Like I, you know you know that I had a um, raisin in the mouth. A, a order of protection from you on the tunnel because of the band from TV. <laughs> Seriously. No, they was blowing a people up. Order of that. protection. They was blowing wait, 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 people up. You got an tunnel. order of protection? The tunnel took an order of protection. No, 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 no. You don't understand. That's how crazy it was. It was blowing when people up. They, that Razor game was no, crazy yeah. when that band from TV hit. I was, I was, I was with the Bronx at that time, and then, mm-hmm. and it was dancing. You know, <laughs> it was dancing. And, <laughs> and, and listen, pun being whoa. Whoa, whoa. That's pun. Who was that? That's yeah, pun. God bless you, baby. Pun. God bless you, baby. Now, yeah, let's, let's talk about that. What, what, what was your um, closest memories of pun? Just being on that couch in Sony Studio. Yeah. No, it was Electric Lady. Electric so, Lady. With the Uzi. But, but, but mine's last one was, oh, yeah, yeah, was, okay. was in Sony okay. Studio, in the East Studio where mm. it was. Because I remember okay. he was the only person I would let use it. Oh, because it was easy to get to. Yeah, you owned Sony Studio at one time. That was I remember that, that was the they they built me a room like, you know they they uh, it was good. You and know? you had the room under the ground. So yeah, that was phones the, don't that work. Was the room. That was your the phones room. don't work. Nothing. That yeah. was the, that was the trigger. Like, that was that was you. Swiss kidnap you. You gonna do a, a hit? When you came downstairs, <laughs> your I put phone the, can't work. You came asshole. downstairs, I put the voodoo on you. Yeah. <laughs> as soon as you walked in there. <laughs> You had the dust on you coming that E room. Mm. I was selling you the track. Right. I was charging you crazy money, mm. and you was gonna be happy with a crazy hit. Mm. <laughs> that was some tracks with three hundred thousand yeah. tracks. Let's make some noise. Yeah, God damn it. I just want to tell you, man. I'm just so proud of you. I seen you from the beginning. I see. Now this is a question I wanted to ask you because. Like you said, your uncles was these guys that's in the streets. They start this music business. How was your first approach coming to them and saying, you know what, I want to, I'm, I'm a producer? Well, they did. I didn't come to them. They came to me because mm. they was doing some. They wanted. They was doing something positive, and they knew I was doing music. And they was like, yo, my aunt was like, your uncles are starting this positive movement called Rough Riders, and you should come up for the summer and, and be a part of it. Right. And I went up that summer and never went back to where I 
in Atlanta. I never went back to Atlanta mm. from that point. This before mm. was a record like music movement. This is now this this is when it was becoming a label. Okay. And my aunt Siobhan was like, "Yo, you know, you're the only one in the family taking music serious. You should come up for the summer and and see what it's about." I went up for that summer. That's just a wrap. It was over. Mm. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still. I'm still moving off that plane ticket from New, from to New York right now. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. and you know, like at the end of the day, we all got opportunities. We all got Life. chances. We all got chances. We all got opportunities. It's what we do with it. Right. You understand? Like, we could take opportunities for granted, or we can understand that it's a once in a lifetime chance to be great. Mm. Are you willing to take that chance? Mm. Are you willing to go that far? I was sleeping on floors. I had bruises on my face, my shoulders, my elbows mm. because I was that hungry to get to where I'm at today. And I still work like I have nothing today. You understand? Mm. Like I've been in meetings since 9 a.m., which is the reason why I got my shades on mm. in another business. I'm in Harvard Business School right now. I see well, that on the Accelerating ground. my craft and accelerating you know, my mental capacity because you know this, this all came to me early. Mm. You know, I didn't know what I was doing back then. Mm. So I'm like, I'm just starting now because I know what I'm doing now. Right. So I done gave y'all <laughs> 350 million records sold worth of not knowing what I'm doing. So imagine mm. what you can Imagine do. what I'm ready to yeah. do right now. Mm. And I tell people, like, sky's not the limits, it's just a view. Mm. And, you know, the thing is, like, the hood, we always want excuses of, like, why we not in position. Mm. They got me like this. They got me like that, and they want me like this. Don't, like, man, figure it out. Mm. That same person complained about something, didn't look for a job that day, didn't pick up a book that day, didn't look for no inspiration that day. They want to sit on that stoop like the pot of gold going to fall on their lap. Mm. I'm not messing with none of those type of people. Anybody that's around me, they better have vision, they better have a goal, and it's not just a lean on me because I'm not, I'm not, we not doing it. I'm a grown ass man. Mm. You're a grown man, you healthy. Get out there and feed your family mm. on your own. God damn, make some noise to that. Yeah. Now also see you and Cassidy, y'all, <laughs> y'all back together. That is dope. Nice. Explain that. Well, you know, I put Cassidy on punishment for a little bit because mm. You know, I come from a place where there's protocol mm. and, you know, there's consequences mm. and there's different things that, you know, uh, uh, can fly and can't fly, you know. Right. I don't act tough in this music thing. Right. I never came off as a threat. Right. Um, but I, but we could be a serious problem. Right. You right. understand? I'm, I'm in here with you. I'm in here with my Bacardi fan. Like, these, I came from like a, with Bacardi fan. You know what you know what I'm saying? Like I'm yeah. not in here with a bunch of goons, a bunch of nothing. Like I'm comfortable mm -hmm. in my skin, right. and I come with great energy. I come with positive intentions. Mm. I don't come in here to front on nobody, stun on right. nobody. Right. Right. I'm in here dressed just like everybody in here because, right. like, you know what? We all and you come got from a Haitian hat. We respect you. that thing. I, I <laughs> caught the Haitian hat right. Mm. And right we a little Haiti right now. We a little Haiti right now. Sap, I say, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to my Haitian crew. I went out there to Haiti. Mm. You know, I did a great initiative there. Mm. I did the biggest event there for free mm. for the people. 300,000 mm. people showed up. Mm. And I noticed they didn't make the news, but there wasn't one stabbing, one shooting, mm. one fight, all love. And I just hate that that didn't make the news. Mm. It's it's one person was well, making drink chance you know news. Like, like, yeah. Make some noise. Yeah. All right, I'm in. Yeah, Sap I say. Sap I say. I'm yeah. in. I'm not gonna lie. That Cardi A is straight. It's good, man. I'm telling you. But I'm a cold shot guy. Okay, well, let's get some ice in yeah, this yeah, shit. Yeah, okay. Let's get some look, ice look, in there. Look, Swiss is on his business. That is... <laughs> whew, that is good, man. That's <laughs> a, <laughs> you know, right, it hit me later. You know, but like for me, right. one thing about Bacardi is like, you know, running all 300 brands in the company as the global creative director, mm. I'm not paying nobody to hold up no bottles. Mm. Right. I don't even like that for our culture. You know, oh. and no disrespect to no other brand. Everybody got to do it how they do it. Mm. But one thing that we're doing at Bacardi is we're investing directly into the people, mm. by the artists, for the artists, with the people. Mm. You know, the fact that we can say in three shows we gave back three million dollars. That incredible. Mm. That's like, that's for real paper. 
Right. Let's make a difference paper. Like, let's make a difference yeah. paper. The fact that mm. we're interacting in yeah. yeah. EFM with and, a portable yeah. line. Go ahead, yeah. boy. Yeah. 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 It's that juvenile yeah. shirt. Yeah. 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 But, like, you know, this is an educational platform yeah. as well. Mm. And I never thought that, excuse me, the creatives and a brand can mix together because they're two selfish things. Mm. The artists want to be selfish on their side and the brand want to be selfish on their side. But the thing that we created with my partnership with Bacardi is an equal agenda of just doing great things. And this is artist based? So like uh, like this like what I mean like paintings like and things yeah, like that yeah no commissions okay. is global you know yeah. we, we just our last see, show London. was in London yeah 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 we got Berlin this year Dubai mm. you know we're going to L A you know we're coming back to Miami mm. you know we're looking at Shanghai you know this this mm. is a, this is a global tribute to now to, let me ask you something right if I want to buy art there we go. How how do I go about buying art? Call like, your brother. Like, but I'm, I'm just saying to like the people, not not me per se, but let, but me per se, but not now. But like, but like, let, like let's suppose a dude wants to invest into some art. What, yeah. did, what what should he look for? What should he do? First and foremost, you know, a lot of people think that art is just for rich people, mm. and that's why no commissions is, is is great because we created the entry point. Mm. You know, there was people that was able to come to no commissions and get things for a couple of hundred dollars, mm. a couple of thousand, or a couple of hundred thousand. Mm. You understand? And so, you know, we created the entry point. So, you know, the miscommunication with art is, how am I a part of that? If I go in a gallery and everything's 20,000, right. but I got 4,000. Right. So, being that I don't got that 20,000, you don't want to talk to me, I can't be a part of this. Mm. I don't like that story. So mm. we created a new story to where you could be living with your mother and participate in no commissions. Mm. You can be on your way up and just trying to figure it out and participate. You can be the biggest of the biggest and participate. Mm. And the, the, the key thing is the entry point for the millennials because art is something that saved people's lives. Mm. Art is a different type of communication. Mm. You understand? Like everybody can't communicate on an academic level, but you might have that person right there that can paint something so amazing that can be a videographer, a photographer, you know, and just create something and bring something extra to the world. And that's the platform that I built that mm. made me very dangerous to the art business and the galleries and different things like that because I created the entry point. I took away the stigmatism of... So you saying, because I remember when Kanye sort of saying, like when he was trying to, um, you know, uh, migrate from being like just an artist to like to this clothing field, mm -hmm. like he felt like he wasn't being respected. You're saying that's the opposite with you when you go into the art field because you're just basically giving. You know, when you look at art and artists, we come from an industry called music. Mm. Art. Which is art. Mm. And we just break it down to the basic levels. When everybody deal with us, no matter how good the deal seems, there's always somebody hand in our pockets. Mm. <clears throat> Absolutely. Left, right, back, side, there's a hand in our pockets. Mm. So we might feel that we have the freedom. You know, in Harvard, uh, the professor said, the illest, I was like, I couldn't believe that the way we're being done, the way that the, art, the industry is being dealt with, they was actually taught to do that. Mm. The professor said, if you want them to work harder, make them feel like they own something. I was like, hmm. He said, example, you know you have $2, give them $1. But you know you got $2 in your budget, give them $1 first. Here go your $1, do your job. Let them work for a week. After that week, you walk up to him, he's walking in the yard or wherever he's walking, you walk up to him and say, man, you've been doing a great job. Here goes another dollar. What he already owned or was supposed to be the given to him. The second dollar was in the budget. Yeah. But what are you going to do mm. after the boss tell you you was on your A game, hey, go another dollar. What's go you're going to yeah, work, work harder. harder. You're going to be like, oh, I'm on my grind. I'm on my, right. I'm ready to go. The boss came up to me. He told me, I, I, I'm a, I might run this company. Right. So you're going to go harder just because the way that was done. Right. And I was mm. like, damn. 
That sounds like the label deal. Oh. It's a mind game. <laughs> Give them a label, bring in the artist cheaper, make them feel like they own something. Because if you own something, you're going to say, I got this artist here, but he can't charge me too much because I'm a partner in this and this is my label. But are you a partner? Do you have veto rights? Are you on the board meetings? Are you really a part of this industry? No. The fuck out of here. Those are fake. Those are, those are fake smoking, facts. Those are smoking mirrors. Mm. Oh. Tell me a person that had a label did that been to a, a major label board meeting. No. Mm. If and you're in a board meeting, then we're talking about ownership. You and when you're talking about that, are you saying like the Rockefellers, the subsidiaries Rock of the label, the, those type of labels? I'm talking about everybody. Cash money, imprint deals. I'm talking mm. about everybody. I'm talking about you know, if you were Universal, are you at the board meeting at Vivendi mm. with the distributors? The board the, meetings. Yeah. yeah. So the, okay. the Vivendi. The board the meetings. Big, the people that that's who say, own Universal. If you agree with this, say aye. Aye. Right, are you right. a part of those meetings? I'm a part of those meetings now, so I know how they go. All right. But if we're not a part of those meetings, then the ownership doesn't mean anything. Mm. It's a smoke and mirror. Make them feel like they own something and they'll work harder. You understand? Mm. I don't. Why? Why no musicians have their own yachts or they own 757s? And then you look at other industries of people that's doing five percent of the work that they're doing because this business is not set up for artists to win. So you have to understand when it's your time to get off the titty and go live your own dream. Like, we want to be mm. pacified and want to be rewarded at the same time. Mm. It doesn't work like that. I retired from music when I made On to the Next One. I wrote that song as my retirement song, which was my last Grammy, because I was mentally on to a next mm. platform. Just make some noise for that Grammy. You know what I'm saying? We spent that Grammy in there like we ain't said. God damn it, continue. And I just think that we got to be mentally ready to make any step that we feel is life-changing to ourselves. Without, I don't care about the fear. I don't care about the politics. Because, like, look, man, life is full of politics. Look who our president is. Mm. Look at what we're dealing with right now. Mm. But the truth of the matter is... Celebrity we had to, chief. We had to deal with something with every president mm. since Reagan. Like, right. Since Reaganomics, like Reagan this ain't demolished. nothing. This ain't nothing new. Mm. This ain't nothing but a recycling of of the system. Mm. But how you treat your own system, mentally and spiritually, is on you. Mm. We prepare for any war. That's why we still around to even talk about this shit. We've right. been was supposed to be going. Everybody in this room. Right. You understand? Right. You think you think the digital age though leveled the playing field as far as what you were talking about? Yeah, like, I, just in in general, yeah, just I would like to hear. artists I, I, I think circumventing so. the labels and just straight to to consumer. Well, um, the reason why I like the digital aspect of of, of uh, where we at today is because it gives the independent life mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. life, and before we was trapped into one way or nothing. You know, now if you really got your hustle on, like my brother and you guys here, you can go viral and start something. Right. And imagine if this uh, forum that we're on right now didn't exist. Let me kind of stop you for one second, Mm -hmm. because I understand exactly where you're going. But if you're an older artist, I'm Mm -hmm. talking about with just music, does the streaming level the playing field? Because just think about it. Like when you're a new artist, you can you can you can drop a record mm-hmm. and not pay for radio, not pay for nothing, and the new artist buzz is gonna get people to play your record because they don't want to be late on the new shit. Yeah. But when you're an artist that's been around for 15, yeah. 20 years and you drop something, you might not get the same. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So does streaming like on the radio? I'm saying so does streaming level the playing field. Or, Listen, or does it flatline it? You know, that depends on the artist. Yeah, straight mm-hmm. up. You understand? They can a, get lot, to their, a lot of artists their fans. are not real with themselves. Mm. You understand? Yep. They're going to put something out that's just not that time to put what they're putting out. So the results that they're getting out is what it is. Mm. I don't care who you are, where you from. You got a hot show, it's popping, it's on. Right, right decisions. Right. If you... A artist, no matter who you are, if you got that record and you got that right direction, you don't have to do no work. Mm. A hit song requires no work. Mm. It goes organically, and the people feel that, and that resurgence of that spreads. Mm. But 
if you're disgruntled and jealous and right. living in a time that we know we're not in right. and you're not gauging your views and, and, right. and your vibes of right then and you don't get the results you want who fault is that? Mm. yours mm. not the people right. because the people just want to have fun they're not even caring who's saying what and what mm. it could be Whoever, Especially whoever. right now As long as yep, yeah, so exactly. Hussein Boat Could put out a song right. With the right dance And the right beat right. Right. And it could go That's all So nobody has an excuse Hussein Sound of Drink Champs In case you're thinking about that Click But continue <laughs> you know, that's, I, think, that's, I think also The definition of a hit record Is changing Because hmm. there's, there's artists That you will never You might not even know That have successful careers Because they're going Direct to consumer Because like touring, right now Like right and now And they're making like, bread right, <clears throat> You know um, You've worked with the greats Eminem Jay Z, DMX, Nori, I can't, I can't even like Kanye, Kanye. Five hundred and fifty songs. You know, so now a new guy comes on your beat. Pause. Mm -hmm. The way I said that, that, wasn't, that, ain't, that, that wasn't right. The way I just said. Say it again. Say it again. Relax. 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 That's, that's in the right thing. That, that's what we. I put my own self up. I put my own self up. But now, guy, you know. Somebody calls you, you, you he gets on your beat, and he like, bleh, 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 bleh. that's a hot verse. You just <laughs> <That's> <laughs> awesome. But he killing it, but you you don't even know what he's saying. How the fuck is he killing it? You can't understand what he's doing. <laughs> he's killing it. No, but there's niggas out there that's killing it. I don't understand what they're saying, but to me, they still killing. I'll be like, what? And you and you and just like the rhythm yeah, of what yeah, they're yeah, saying. Yeah, 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 like I, like I, I dig some mumble rap. I let me tell you something. I got when you hear my record. Those people you talking about, mm. watch how I check their passports at the door. Mm. And and it was a breath of fresh air because I, I witnessed that people are doing what they're doing because of a, a fad. Right. Mm. I'm like, you're hiding all of this talent mm. because you think that's what they want to hear? Mm. I couldn't, when you hear these verses clearly mm. that you're going to hear, mm. I was like, bro. You mean you could have did this the whole time? You going? Mm. There's really talented people in that space of what we feel that's not talent. Right. Mm. I've witnessed it, and you're gonna mm. witness it too very soon. Mm. You're gonna be like, "That's who? Mm. Yeah, that's him. Mm. And that's who? Yeah, that's him too." Because I just wanted to challenge people to do something different. Mm. Because. What they're applying in life is great, but the challenge that I'm a, I want to challenge them to apply just in the atmosphere is different. Like, I don't want what you have already. Mm. I dare you to do this. Mm. And when I dare them to do that, 100 points on the board. So you know what Tiger front. Bone is? <laughs> Look, look, you know how long I you know how much time I want, spent in Jamaica? I, I just feel like you know how much time I spent exactly in China. What it is. I just feel China, like China, China and Jamaica. I just don't need it. Like I got five kids, bro. <laughs> no, 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 no. Nice we, already. We drink that because we celebrating you tonight. Tonight, Let's go. we got 20 years worth of here. Come on, you do the honors. Motherfucker. Come on. Yeah, I know. Listen, do we got to deal with Tiger Bone? What are we doing? No, know, no, no, no. We just make our own joint. fuck is they doing? Legend no, no, no. This is what we're doing. Because you know why? Because I know I got a check made. from Bacardi right now. We're going to dance. Right. Right. Tiger Bone Bacardi in this This joint. is not Bacardi's competition in no way. No, it's not. It's not. It's not. It's nobody's competition. But I noticed you be Tiger Bone in this thing out in here. Yeah, because it's a beautiful thing. How? Because it, it, it level spell backwards is level. You got to balance it. It's an herb. <laughs> what kind of herb? Here you go, buddy. It's, it's Where's the gugong chew? I got to bring yeah. the gugong chew. We need to add no gugong. I fuck with gugong. Yeah. I'm going to take it. And big up the veggies. Yeah, you got to take off your jacket. Nah, I always take off my jacket for the time. It's hot. It's it hot. hot. If you ain't get the locks out, get the locks out right now. Yeah, 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 it's yeah, yeah the locks out. Style's fire. Hold on. I mean, Jada Kiss, yeah, she Luciano. Huh? Um, what do you need me to do? Fire. No, Wait till I hear the other knocks yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, don't, 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 other, what, locks? Another locks out Woo. coming. Okay. No. But, because I heard when you said uh, <laughs> the locks album came out on uh, Rock Nation, you was cool with Chichi. it. You just didn't want to. So um, you just didn't want to see them throwing up the rock sign. I got in a lot of trouble for that. Why? What happened? You know, I, oh, I, I, I was, you? I was, no, no, no. I, I was honestly, with all due respect, I was, I was, I was wrong. I was wrong for saying that uh, on a national 
broadcast about my about my brothers. And I, Why would you say that? No, I, I was I was a little I was talking a little reckless. But where did I? I, I didn't it was on Shade Four Five. On Shade Four Five. T- let's toast. Come okay. and get in. I need no, to get no, into no, that. No, no, no. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Yeah, take off your glasses for that. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> this, for this? this? Ah, ah. Yo, Tiger Moore, you got to do it. What happened to the eight? Ah, ah. You got to do it. This guy. 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 Set it off, set it off, set it off. Set it off, yeah. Set it off, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right, he produced. Set it. But when Nori hit his new thing I made for him. Oh, woo! Woo! That's what I'm talking about, goddammit. Let's keep it so we're still on that. I'm getting gifts. Yeah. Yo. So, so. Yeah. I got in trouble. Uh huh. Styles P called me because, you know, he's a savage of the group. <laughs> Don't ever talk our name like that. Wait, when you said, oh, uh, wait. <laughs> Damn. 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 Oh, Why would you do it like this? Shit. Yo, but yo, I swear to God, in my mind, I my hand was up there. <laughs> like, I don't know why. It felt like I just violated myself. I'm sorry. Continue, Swish. Styles be called you. Because I, I was, as a man, mm. I can admit when I'm wrong. And out of 20-something years with the locks, it mm. was the first time mm. I was wrong. Right. I... I I was. I spoke about. I spoke about the incident on Shade Four Five. Mm-hmm. Spoke about what? The incident. incident. Oh, about, the incident. And I, I, I spoke about how I felt about Kiss Thorn up the rock sign and. Why you saw Kiss Thorn up the rock sign? Yeah, I witnessed him throw it up. Oh, I never knew that. All right, continue. Yeah, I, I seen him throw it up. It's, it's, it's public information. Okay. And the reason and the reason why I had a problem with it was because, you know, I was around for. I was around for everything, and I, and mm-hmm. I knew that how hard it was to fight for it, for what we had, mm-hmm. and I knew that my great friend Jay would never throw up a rough rider sign, no matter what deal he would ever do. Because so, of early on, just because, like you know, you know, um, my uncles and them put a lot of time into changing people's lives. Mm. They put a lot of times in, in, into changing people's lives, and. They put their lives on the line for changing people's lives. So, uh, naturally, I'm gonna be emotional of when I see something that's other than oh. where it all come from. Right. Naturally, so right. naturally, I overreacted right. when that question was brought up to me. I was like, "What was the question asked of you? What do you think about the locks with um with Rockefeller?" And I said, mm. "I think that it's a great deal." Which I do, I, um, because they work hard to even have these, this type of outlet. And, and they, like, the fuck is they doing? Yeah, there's like bad, bad no. shit going on behind yeah, yeah, yeah. this. What's up? Yeah, Mr. Lee, you got no control. That's not even Mr. Lee, that's Mr. Chi. <laughs> yeah. You know what I'm saying? But, but, but they but, got their masters. Because from what I hear, they got they, their masters. They, they worked hard to right. even be able to put out that type of album in 2016 slash 17. Mm-hmm. And I was. I was wrong for expressing that on that public outlet, mm-hmm. even though I called a couple of group members a couple of times. If I couldn't reach them, I should have deaded it. Right. I was a little nice, right. like I am now. Right. We, we, we got you. You're, we in control. But I'm the most honest when I'm nice. It just right. is what it is. And Spiff TV told me you had wall paint on your face when he tried to get a verse from you. Cause I really be on that other shit, Nori. You know, uh, I'm not scared to express it. Yeah, I'm into the art life, so sometimes yeah. I paint my face, yeah. and sometimes I just throw the shades on, and just be on my coolie. It's real shit. With my, with, you know, you see that hat I got on side by side. But right? styles and you worked it out. But of course we worked it out. Of course. Because you know, at the end of the day, Styles had every right to call me and be on that vibe, and I listened to him. I was in the, in the airport in Shanghai. And he mm. texts me the foulest message ever. Mm. I was laughing. Mm. Let me not make it a joke because this is uh, something serious. Uh, and I listened to what he said. Yes. And he had good points. And as a man, anybody watching this, as a man, if you're in the wrong, 
you got to take that charge. Right. Mm. Take that charge. <clears throat> Apologize. I was wrong. I won't do that again. My bad. Mm. You know, a lot of the ego is the killer. Mm. A lot of people let the ego mislead them in life. Yep. I know that I could never go to war with the locks, even though their first name was the Warlocks. Mm. Right? Mm. Those, that, those are my brothers. We never going to have a confrontation for the industry to sit back and watch a legacy that we worked hard for burn because of some small time thing. We really was in these streets for real. Uh, I love them. We uh, are the streets was the first. Like I put my life. It into just turned the seventeen. Life. I know. On we my are the streets. Birthday. Yeah. Wow. Let's make some noise. For God damn it. <laughs> Birthday. Okay, yeah, you're trying to dumb it. You gotta put your headphones on. You know, he violated me. It's like, you know, so you used to it? Bang! Yo, listen, it's like, you know, so you used to it. It was seven, it was seven <laughs> seconds later. I said, like, oh, that's yeah, he violated me. That's like, you know, I'm so used to it. They both were out there. Yo, but listen, but, all right, shout out to Styles P, yes. J.D. Kiss, mm. Sheik Luciano. I love y'all. <clears throat> That's right. We man. never gonna have no problems. I mean, nah, never. And some never. of the realest dudes we had on Drink Champs as well. Mm. They've been on here like. They, they but been let's ask me lot. some real questions. No, let's get we, into some real. Like are you I'm, ready? I'm here. Yeah, right? Like let's turn up. Do some questions. Whatever go, we want to do, let's go. I'm here. I'm here to make the ratings go up. All right, I'm going. Fuck is they talking so about? So when you and Kanye West battled on stage, <laughs> damn, <laughs> straight to summer jam. I, I love that moment. Describe that moment. Who, who, was that put together? Was was that like spirit of moment? You and Kanye. This is the craziest nigga in life. In, Say, his, in his in his life. The, but this is before he got crazy. He was like sane at this time. I respect Kanye for taking that battle because, you know, um, a lot of producers I asked turned down that. Oh battle. wait wait wait, Tom 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 Tom. So you saying this was your whole idea? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, in New York City, I was the leading Summer Jam. Of course, we gonna. Oh, so this is orchestrated. This, yeah, I've never knew this. Uh, you didn't know that? I've never knew this. No, I called so these you, people. You've been, you've been, you've asked people to do this before. Time, time is running out. No, 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 we no. don't have time. We oh, don't okay. do that. We're not ready. No, we're not ready. Yo, we just started. Hold on. Hold on. All right, hold on. We just, gonna, we just, we just got a yeah, special message. This, so I'm gonna make this go. No, that's good. Nah, cool. nah, you nah, want nah. another shot of Bacardi? No, nah, I got my cup right here. This is Bacardi Eight. Great. Right here wait, too. Wait, I, let's do shots. I don't. Nah. I don't do like when drinking like us, man. What you is got that? the weed, bro. Like I mean. All right, all right, cool. Did that? Did that Bacardi niggas doubling up on me? So okay. So you had this idea for a producer. You know, because I, I when I look at Summer Jam, I noticed that a lot of the performing artists uh -huh. musically got to shine. And the, the producers was always behind those big heck, hit records that mm. these artists was able to go on stage and, and do their thing to. So right. I said, you know what, let's play homage to the producers. Mm. And Summer Jam is, is, is very controversial. So I said, you know what, let's make it a battle mm. where... I'm talking shit, and then whoever come out and challenge me to me talking shit with their greatest couple of hits, and I give them my greatest couple of hits, and we gave the sh the people a show that was respectable, and 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 it paid homage to the producer. Mm -hmm. Right. Everybody turned down the request, except for Kanye, and I give him no names that you could say that turned it down. Who who else would you name them? Did Premier turn it down? Nah, I'm not challenging Premier. You uh, <laughs> He dropped Like he dropped that New York State of Mind. Yeah, just saying, no, just saying. Bye bye. Right. Like one track, like uh, for man. Just Blaze. He's in there. Pete Rock? But but just did Just Blaze. Nah, you know, you nah, know. Nah, you're going way too far. You know, Why am I going way too far, man? I, no, Pete, did, oh, did, Pete drop reminisce on me. What the yeah. fuck am I gonna do? Yeah. Right. Stop no, dropping. No. no. I, who said Just Blaze? No, nah, he said he said Just Blaze. Just Blaze. He definitely I, I, turned I, I, you down. I reached out to Just Blaze. Not not he didn't definitely Just Blaze is talented. I think mm -hmm. I think Just Blaze could probably beat me today in the battle. Right. Because I'm not really thinking about it, but if I thought about it, I'd probably give him a little bit of a run for his money. Now, uh, when you saying battle, when you saying battle, are you saying hits? Y'all at that time it was hits. Mm. 
Mm. Right, so imagine he Just came with how the crowd reacts. Allow to me it. to reintroduce him. Like the whole stack. <sighs> yeah. Mm. Scan it out. <laughs> Right. But I got something for that too. Right. Mm. I got something for that. I you, you, people gotta understand. Like I used to make. I'm sorry. What, what are we doing? Like, no, right okay, 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 okay. Let me good. just tell you something. It's good. It's good. Oh, man. Love, 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 love. Let's welcome Twin Hearts. Yeah. Twin got that fade. I need your bottle's number. Nah, let me tell you something. You're coming here with this pretty boy shit. It's called nah, let me tell you something. You know what I'm saying? Moving in on us all crazy. Let me crazy. tell you something. Twin was the star, one of the stars of this show. Mm. You know, some a fatal, I don't know. Something fatal, unfortunate happened. Unfortunate accident happened. But it's not unfortunate. Want to talk about He's here it. today, so it's fortunate. But, and you know what? We are so proud I'm there love. to see Twin here right now. I'm there love. Yo, somebody give Twin a mic, please. And just let him. And give him a shot of that eight, too. Nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah, nah, not yet. Nah, no, nigga. He on the mouth. He's on the mouth. Are you on the mad step? No, this is recent. Yeah, this is very recent. This is very recent. Two weeks back, ago. Yo, Drake Champs family, Army, thank you for all the prayers. I appreciate it, man. Right. Appreciate all the love, all the support. Right. And prayers been working because I'm getting better and I'm alive. Right. I'm here I could have been Six feet under But I'm here right. And I can keep Moving forward right. And even though If I don't walk again I'm still living You know what I mean Nah nigga. There's still hope man You know what I'm we saying you. I'm here You gonna walk again Motherfucker I'm here Are you crazy <laughs> Are you crazy Alright cool. Let's hold hands and and, and, right. and, and, and and give a little Blessings We We thank you for Twin being here With us today On um, and, and life form And, and real form And we thank you for protecting him and guiding him and getting him to this level of being conscious and being love. And we never forget all the prayers, all the deeds that has been done today. Him waking up this morning is just a plus. In your name we pray. Amen. 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 Thank you, sir. That's it. That's it. I'm be back. That's, that was real shit right there. Damn, the I got emotional and shit. Yeah, me too, Ooh, man. Like, serious, like, nah, because that's, that's twin. That's our, that's our little brother right that's here, That's our little man. brother, yeah, motherfucker. That's my brother, Damn. too. Damn, but listen. Um, Because we very scared. We don't... We, you sure you want to stay right there? Yeah. He's, good. Uh, he's, good. Good. he's good. He's good. He's cool. good. But you know, usually I ask you to take a shot nah, for nah, something, but nah, it's nah, not nah, today. Nah, he's gonna right. stay healthy right. today. Right. 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 We love Twin. Being here is a shot right now. Yeah, that's right, motherfucker. Yeah, right. But okay, so now so, Swiss, I'm ready. What's up? So we're gonna take it. But you was getting into yeah. the battles, and you was talking about yeah, that battle. Like, we gotta, we gotta complete that story. So, so he said, you know, we're you, trying to find out who he asked. He said, just Blaze. Yeah, who we are? I asked Timberland, I asked Thank Pharrell. Oh, Timberland. Oh, okay. You know, I battle any one of them today, too. That's mm. nothing. It's mm. light work. You know, let's dance. Mm. So this Kanye is, stepped up? Kanye stepped up to the plate. Okay. He, he was a game Describe player. Describe this moment. You know, uh, he was like... What I'm, Kanye is this now? What he Kanye? definitely don't got blonde hair. Let's keep it. Nah, got the backpack on? No, nah, he had a backpack. The backpack That's Kanye. backpack Kanye. I know. Like, what was, what was his? Jesus, uh, big Jesus piece. Uh, okay. Red College jacket, dropout Louis Kanye? Vuitton, Louis Vuitton sneaker Kanye. Okay. Yeah. Is Jesus yeah. Walks? College dropout yeah. Kanye. No, nah, it's before Jesus Walks. I mean, is it? Around that time, I think it was. Uh, he was hot Kanye. Yeah, he was hot. He was Kanye. Kanye Pepper Kanye. Right, right. Kanye, 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 I gave him the concept, and he was just like, all right, let's make it fresh. So, and the craziest part was, like, he came, I, I told him my playlist. He told me his playlist. I kept my playlist, and he changed his playlist. Oh. I was like, you sure you don't want to? Because, like, I didn't, it wasn't about no big eyes and little you. No, but what, was, what, what, at what point he changed his playlist? Oh, I, when I, it was Showtime. Oh, right that, before the set. That, 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 when it was continue, Showtime, I, I, I heard songs that that he didn't present. I was like... <laughs> so y'all both knew what songs y'all was going to play, yeah. each of y'all. Oh, I told him I, was, I never changed what I was going to play because right. I just wanted to play what I was going to play. <clears throat> and the songs that he picked before I thought were stronger. Yeah. You know, because I didn't want it to be like... Um, a big I, little you thing. I wanted, yeah. I wanted him to be great and I wanted me to be great. And he was great. 
Yeah. But, you know, I think the selection um, that we first had was better. Mm. You know, right? Because it's not like, you know, uh, me me going on the Summer Jam stage and showing off on another person because that man is talented. Yes. He's a genius. Yes. You know, he, he uh, a master of his craft. Just like Timberland, Dr. Dre, Pharrell, mm. Just Blaze, all the producers, they're master of their own crafts. And the one thing I do miss about music is that, you know, um, we all had different things to bring to the table. Mm. You know, when, when you heard mm. our sound, it was a different sound totally. Not about a, a bounce. Right. Mm -hmm. We came with what we felt like we, what we wanted to come with. You know, and um, there's a couple of new producers that's doing that, and I respect them all. Like a signature sound? Mm. Yeah, there's a couple yeah. of producers owning it, and there's a couple of people that's taking advantage of the technology. But Swiss Beast is about to make an album right now, tomorrow. Oh, it's right? done. I'm asking. That shit right? done. I'm and a, they a, and, and the label says, well, go hire some new new dudes. Who is Swiss Beast going to hire, producer-wise? I'm not scared of new dudes. I got mm. new dudes on my team. I respect new dudes. No, I'm saying like when I say uh, my bad. Let me rephrase the question. They're saying go get some like the 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 uh, the producers that's trending that right now. now. The producers yeah. that right. who is Swiss gonna say? You know what? <laughs> what I'm, producers you like now? Is yeah. basically what <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you making an album, because you know, let's be honest, you're an artist too. There's a lot of there's a lot of new producers that I like. Oh. You know, um, I'm not stuck in my past. Mm. You know, a lot of producers get stuck in their past and they don't really respect. Somebody need a goddamn fix. Mm. God damn relax. Get that, that, they relax. Get, we got a lot. This is the they noisiest, that thing I think, episode much. ever. Yeah, yeah, you can't cool. smoke it, Sound dude. Like we got out. construction in the background. <laughs> but my headphones done blocked them out already. Okay, okay. 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 Yeah, that's it sounds like we building that's something back there. Like who, is, who is, if they say, now nah, we say you, you got... Three people, no, no, no. Let's say five. So you got five people to 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 to, to pay, other than you, to finish your album right now. No, Noriega, I love you. I'm yeah. bad with names, bro. Mm. That's just I'm, I, I admit to it. Mm. I'm bad with names. Damn. I like no Mike Metro Will. Booming? I like Metro Booming. Mm. You know, we go love. You could say the song that you like, the, the, the producer. No, no, I like, I like Mike Will. I like Metro <laughs> Boomin. Will. I like Boy Wonder. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Boy Wonder, right. Wonder my name. You know, Avery. Mm. You know, it's, it's, it's a lot of, you know, Ty, Snags. Mm. I like everybody that's being creative. There's, there's, you know, you got to think about this, like, right? Right. There's a lot of people that's doing music that could have been robbing our kids and our mothers and our mm. brothers and our cousins. As long as people doing something positive. Kind of like what DMX said too. He's kind of said the same thing. Right. Shout to the dog. But, but so you're not going to you're not going to call Dr. Dre. That's it. not a new producer. You yeah, man, you just said, you just switched it up on. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I'm calling Dr. Dre for this DMX just, album. Think not. Might as well call Premier too, man. Come on. Let's go. Cool. Yeah. I'm out of line with my question. Yeah, you were yeah, 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 left. Right, you were going know, right. right. New producer. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, my bad. Yeah, Let's continue yeah. with the new producer. I respect yeah. all the new producers. Mm. Anybody that's doing something positive with music mm. is just like art. It's an expression. Mm. You either can relate to it or you can't. That's mm. why there's different genres in music, different mm. genres in art, and different genres in everything that we uh, face in this world. You know, I'm not going to sit here and play around with... None of those producers because, mm. you know, um, they all got a little bit of influence. Mm. And myself, Timberland, whoever you want to name, uh, we are part of their DNA, whether we like it or not. Mm. They took a part of what we did and created themselves. Right. It's a foundation. So if I diss them, I'm technically dissing myself. Right. right. No, they just they they just on another platform and and see another stage that they got to perform on. That doesn't deplete my stage. Mm. That just like. It's a compliment of each other. You understand? And what I have to do, the things that I don't like, I have to fix. Mm. So in my album, I'm like, bars. Mm. What's the name of the and album? Let's make a public service make, announcement. Make the name, I don't know the name of the album. I ain't even think that. I ain't even mm. think about no name. I just thought about like fucking up everything. That's but, the name of the album. <laughs> 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 mm. But now, mm. let's take it to the first Rough Ride album. The first uh, Rough Ride compilation? Yeah. 
Okay. Those are. Yeah, we did that. Is there a difference between <clears throat> compilation and the album? Well, to me, because it wasn't an artist. No, no, one artist. The Rough Rider, the first Rough Riders was, was a compilation. The first Rough Rider album was the DMX. So, right. the, so the first Rough Rider album, oh, multiple was artists. a conglomerate of multiple artists, up and coming, known, not known. Mm. You know, that's that's when people heard Beanie's first hard verse was mm. on that album. That's when people heard Infrared and Cross. That's when people heard, mm-hmm. you know, Eve. That's when people heard Drag On. That's when mm. people. Uh, got exposed to a lot of things that wasn't really out there yet. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And so, you know, what y'all album, niggas want? That first album. What what was what was it? Because y'all were all separate entities. You had all these separate groups, but now they're saying a compilation album. Well, we had no separate groups, and I never even knew what a compilation was before I did that album. I just knew that we was making an album with the family, and uh, we was taking everybody's verses and putting outsiders on them uh, to fill up the space. You know, I was too young to understand what was a compilation, not a compilation. I didn't give a fuck what it was. Mm. I just wanted to produce the best as shit. As long as it's coming out. And, and mm. make the people feel good. And I was hungry. I was thirsty. I was going up against Grease. I was going up against PK. I was going Dang up against, Grease. you know, uh, Young Lord. I was going up against a lot of producers wow. at that time that... You know, Spunk Bigger, a lot of producers that had like a lot of recognition. And I just wanted to make make uh, the best music I can make. And then when I looked up, I had like 90% of that done. And then I seen I looked up, I had 90% of the Locks album done, 90% of Eve done, 90% of X Next album done. And, and you know, I just, I just wanted to go hard. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Now, why you and Grease ain't never like work together? <clears throat> work together. That's a touchy situation, you know. Um, we grown men now. Mm-hmm. Um, I never knew why Greece had a problem with me mm-hmm. because, you know, uh, my uncle, when I was when I went to Atlanta, my uncle was like, you know, I got a couple of producers that I want I want to uh, continue the movement while while you're gone. And he took me to Young Lord's house and he took me to Greece's house. And when he took me to Young Lord's house, I seen like a real stable environment. And I was like, nah, Young Lord got like a great, he got a great foundation. I went to Greece, we in this abandoned building. I'm like, damn, he might need it more than Young Lord. So I picked mm. Greece to be the uh, producer at that time when I wasn't available. Mm. And um, competition naturally uh, turns into what it turns into. You know what I'm saying? But you know, I'm gonna just keep it positive. I done did a lot of things. He done did a lot of things. Yeah. You know, um, he haven't spoken about my name since I handled the last situation. And um, I'm going to just say blessings to him and, and thank you for what he contributed to the Rough Rider family. Mm. No sucker shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, his block no... Uh, let me stop. Yeah. Easy. Okay. Um, no, just, no, no, let's keep it positive. Yeah, keep positive. positive. <laughs> I'm going to keep it positive. Yeah. Right, it's positive. It's all positive. I, I, I just always, you know, I always... This, this this notice that you know your brothers <clears throat> was was there from the very 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 beginning. That's all. That's all. And I always just thought we. Uh, I, I kind of like the me and Greece back and forth. Mm. You know because that's competition. Wow. It just felt good. Production like, wise, you talking about every whatever whatever. You know, my dog uh, had a fight with his dog. You oh, you talking about real dogs? No, nah, we really had we really have we really right. had problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. oh, you talking about real people? I think people you, are I dogs. You mean, yeah. Pitbulls. Yeah. Animals? Dogs. Pit bulls. Oh. Like, my, <laughs> the real dogs. Like, nah, me and me and oh. me and Grease went back to like yeah. his dog had a you know we yeah, had dogs, dogs had have problems, problems too. Goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> it's like they don't get no real than that. Right. And then you know uh we still don't pers- know if we talking about people or dogs. No, animals, animals. <laughs> animals. I, animals. Unless I'm wrong. I'm talking, he, let him tell you, you know. <laughs> I don't know, let now I'm tell you. I'm fucked up too. Let okay. him tell you, let him, let him tell you. And then we, we, and we eventually got into it and mm. we had to handle it like men. And um, well, I never knew that. I respect him as a man. Right. And I respect him and respect me as a man. I, right. I, I agreed to never talk to, talk on his name negative. And he agreed never to talk on my name negative. And uh, 
if that was done, then we just deal with the consequences. But that was the deal that we made. So yeah, I can't beautiful. be even here on this show today and yeah, talk about that man Negative. I respect him. He right. made a lot of hits for Dog. He's yeah. a great producer. He put Harlem on the map. He put a lot of people you on the map. You were with Big L as well, right? All that. Yeah. You know, my, my dad managed Big L. You understand? Mm, Big L's one of my favorite you rappers. Know, yeah, my, my, my dad, <laughs> my dad is time. serious. Wow. My dad was a part of my, my dad boy started life, hip hop with Cool Herc. Mm. He oh, lived shit. Him and Cool Herc Was neighbors upstairs Downstairs mm. So those beginning parties My dad was a part Of those parties I never even said That shit publicly Oh now you did you know On Drink Champs <laughs> Seriously Your lineage that Started hip hop That was all Let's just make some noise For that TV Glam Louie So now So now When is the moment Where Swiss is like Um <coughs> I'm I'm that nigga, cause we all went crazy. I went crazy. Mine's is ni- 1998. I think it's probably cause of Banff TV, but mm. I'm not gonna say mine's because mm. it's, it's, it's your interview. Like what is the <laughs> <laughs> like what is the like? I mean, not not crazy. I'm just saying, when is the part where you said, "Damn, I made it"? Because the thing I about know exactly when that was. Go ahead, yeah. tell us, tell us, tell us. Um, you know. When I got into music, I never understood that it was a business. Mm. I never understood that it made billions. Right. I never understand that it saved so many people from the street life that we was living. It was just something that I lived and seen every day growing up in the South Bronx and then migrating back and forth to Harlem. You know, it was something that we were playing our MPVs, Land Cruisers, mm. you know, Nordica vans. It was it was just mm. it was just a way of life naturally. Right. And, you know, when I was doing music, you know, I was already counting millions mm-hmm. and, and on the weekend, you know, and I hated money because it was, it was, it was, it was messing up my fun. Mm-hmm. You know, I was counting money uh, on the weekends, millions of dollars uh, because, of the, because of the business that uh, half my team was in. And so I never really cared about the money thing like that. All the iceberg, Jaco Bijar, Nordica, all those things mm. that was being passed down to me, I never had to really buy those things. Pascal Vuchak. Yeah, all of that. I don't speak it. I had a you couple of those. All, all that. Yeah. So, you know, I was, I, I was brought up fresh. Mm. I grew up in the hood, Jackson mm. Avenue, 700 Department 2E. Mm. I can't say that I had a I'm bad time. Five e. You know what I'm saying? I can't. I can't. What borough is this? I'm not. I'm not from. No, I'm, I'm two e. He five e. I'm five. Right. Okay, but what borough so is this? All the same shit. Don't you know matter. He's from the Bronx. He's from the Bronx. Okay, so I'm asking. I'm from the Bronx. I know where you're from. Uh. I can't say that I had a bad time in the hood. Mm. As bad as the hood was, like I never mm. had a bad time. Like I really, deep. I really had like a lot of fun. Right. I really, I really miss all my friends that uh, are not here to celebrate. Drink champs with us today, mm. or Recipe. not able to see their freedom. Is that another Bacardi shot? I feel like it's, it's, it's real. Let's do it. Seriously. Let's do it. Man. Like, yeah, let's, let's celebrate all the niggas Cartier. that's not here. Great. Shout mm. out to everybody that's not here to celebrate tonight. Yo, I can't believe uh, Bacardi. Listen, I drank the whole bottle with y'all. <laughs> we, no, we're going we yeah, to finish we gonna, the we bottle. Lizzie, I'm supposed to go to 11 after this. Ooh, 11? Ah, turn up. Turn, 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 turn. Yeah, turn up. All right. Welcome back to us. He's going to put it down? Ah, my brother. I love it. You know, I hate it. Maka boom. That's the remix of Maka Haya Bing Bong. So he just did a Swizzy remix. I'm going to be honest. <laughs> oh no, this, this is a problem right now if you're going to be honest. I'm going to be honest. It tastes like Puerto Rico. <laughs> For some but reason, it comes from Cuba. At least you know, your you know, tan match. <laughs> it is from Puerto Rico. It is from Puerto Rico now. I'm going to tell you why. Because every time I eat french fries in Puerto Rico, there's a little bird that's come over. Yo, what's up with french fries in Puerto Rico, man? <laughs> yeah, it's, 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 I went to Taco Bell and they had french fries in I ain't never eaten no french fries in Puerto Rico. You went yeah. to Taco Bell in Puerto Rico and they had french fries. That's a problem. They went to fucking Taco Bell. No, I'm just saying. Yo, come on. Everybody tell them not to go to Taco Bell in Puerto Rico. I'm nice in Puerto Rico. I ain't never eaten no fries in Puerto Rico. Go ahead. No, they have mad fries in Puerto Rico. In Puerto Rico, there's these little black birds. You know these little birds? They're fucking a nuisance. I know who you're talking they, about. Them niggas is gangsters. <laughs> and they'll come and stand right next to you. They'll stand right next to you. Like, yeah. You ain't fucking with that. But 
Uh, where was we at, baby? <laughs> where, 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 where did we end off? Mm. I was really, I was really about to get into some. You shit. was man. Get this into is, some shit. This is where Drink Chance fucks up. This is where Drink Chance fuck up. <laughs> this is this is our downfall. But right this now. is you know why? Because we salute <laughs> the legends. We salute what we gotta do. So now, now you were talking about where you grew up. Yeah. The apartment. Mm. You we were because we were going off of yeah, Bacardi be your family you and Cool Herc and all that. That's what we were. I'm not we were gonna going lie, off. I just burped some shit. I was like, that's all Bacardi. <laughs> nah, that I was a nah, food it's a good, if it's a Bacardi burp. Bacardi. No, that's a, it was great. Your breath smells I, I amazing right now. I can't front. My breath did smell good when I burped. Listen, yeah, I said, oh, it's you, nice. you were like, I like it. It's nice. It's fine. 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 I'm I'm holy. I'm. Shout to Buster Rhymes right Julio. now. Buster Rhymes and hit me like, "Are you on the show yet?" Yes. <laughs> Shout to Buster Rhymes. We need Buster got, back, man. We had it for two point five yeah. seconds. Yeah, but, he was yeah. did that quick. No, no, no. no, no. It, was, it, was it was quite. Tribe, it was longer so than that. It was a tribe album. Got it. Hit number one. They lost so But album. we need just Buster. You know what I'm oh, saying? Oh, you need Buster. He wanted. Yeah, yeah. He ready to go. And you know, and that's what we want to do, Swiss. We want to continue to salute the people that's been out here doing it, and and. A lot of people criticize us sometimes. They say, why you don't interview the new niggas? And I say, I got love for the new niggas. I listen to their shit. Yeah. But I don't got new stories. Like when I mm. sit here and we talk about Band from TV right now, you, you told me your own perspective of Band from TV. Yeah. Or did you did you fully get into the, your I own did. perspective did, of Band from TV? I'm going to say something on that. Yeah. You know, we got to mm. always be students. Mm. I'm student and again. I, I, would, I would love to see mm. you challenge the new people at, at this show. I would love Star to Start in March when we renew the contract. Uh, <laughs> gang. Did I say Yo, that? Yo, you let the cat out the bag quick. So, so CTC, cut yeah. the check. <laughs> exactly. Cut the check. Yo, but at the March. <laughs> With like, Yo, like, you win it? The new niggas? I, Absolutely. I, 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 I've been you know, ready you know, for this. Fact, you'll try to have a secret conversation about me to, to my, you got to interview the new niggas. Continue, Swiss. I'm so sorry. I just, I just like that, Um, mm -hmm. you know what? It's not about new, old, this and that. Right. It's about content. Mm. You content kings. It's about content so it's, kings. Mm. But good it's content. About. It's about but, good but, content. Yeah, but it's curated. So when they come right. here, y'all gonna make the good content. Right. Mm. So with this platform y'all have, y'all can change everything that you might disagree with. Mm. But you just called us curated? Are we curated? Y'all curating. Let's make some noise for us being curated. Shit, when niggas yeah, say you curated, curated, that's, yeah, curated. That's, that means you put together, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Slug. Curating in is my, that's, In my mind, that's what that, that means. Mm. Right? What does that mean to you? Drink Chance Sports. Come over here. What does that mean to you when you say Drink nigga, Chance say Sports? Yeah, you bring yeah, it on Drink Chance Sports right here. You know what I mean tonight? <laughs> you think about it on your own mind. I definitely don't believe you. Um, Let me ask you something. Uh, 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 How much of this interview is going to be shown? Everything. Right. Everything. You know, everything. everything. Like yeah. Your yeah. fucking style. That's you know how we why? do. I like this style. Don't, don't, don't hold nothing out. We don't no, no, nothing. No, we don't nothing. Uh-uh. Nothing. It's just go? Yeah. It's go. Oh, everything. This is the five That's I'm my job about. So where's... <laughs> I hate wasting my time. No, no, no. None of it <laughs> will be wasted. None of it. I hate wasting, you know... Absolutely Let me tell you something about Swift. I see Swiss is crazy. He is 100%. Let me tell you something. I've not, he was probably one of the first producers I said I want to do. I want something like this. And he just makes it like that. Like Premiere will make it, but you got to give Premiere a rhyme. <laughs> Premiere would do the same thing. Premiere, I feel like y'all want to be like this. And then Premiere would be like, give me the rhyme. And I'd be like, yeah. But I'd be like, yo, Swiss, I want some shit like this. And Swiss would be like, being like that. <laughs> 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 and just be looking at you eye to eye. Man, you're looking at you. Like, like, you ready? <laughs> is this it? And then, like, I'm like, I'm going to be in the booth. Like, yo, like, are you still like that? Like, where, like, I, I used to remember I used to beatbox shit to you and you used to be like, what? You know what? Mm hmm I just, you, have, I, just, I just have fun doing what I'm doing. Mm. Anybody want a problem? Mm. Come dance. <laughs> you can dance you can all dance. night. When Good. Nori, I was making 50 beats a night mm. and keeping six. Mm. Literally deleted the wow. rest. Mm. You know, it's all about your work ethic and it's all about your dedication. Mm. Don't play around with something that you don't feel. Mm. Don't worry about what nobody else feels. If you don't feel it, it don't go. Mm. You understand? And when I was making those beats for you and everybody else in the world, 
yeah. which I was blessed to get out my hood from and provide yeah. my family a lifestyle from, yeah. it, it came from a non-fair. Mm. You understand? Like, I don't know what that I, means. A non-fair meaning not fearing the results of failing. Mm. Like a lot of people are scared of what this one thinks or that one thinks. But it's like, you know what? I give a fuck about what my family think. Mm. A lot of those people that want to judge you on what they think, they just with you for the fake ride. Like, mm -hmm. let, let something not go down right. They're going to be gone. Fake friends. Family is important. If you don't got family around you, you might be in trouble. Family is everything. I was, I was protected to own my rights and publishing and things like that because the Rough Rider family was literally my family. Mm. And I, I watched a lot of people come up and do the biggest things that history can never repeat again. Mm. Roman noodles might be their meal. Mm. Just because of that false trust and just right. because of that, that, that false judgment and... and, and, and Listen, man, you know, sky's not the limits, it's just a view. Uh, we, this, what song I said that on? I, I texted him, I told him I bid it from him. Yeah. I remember that song. Yeah, I texted uh, Sky's not the limit, it's just, just a view. view. Why should skies be our limits? That's right. There's, there's billions, every, every star we see, there's millions of galaxies galaxy around yeah. that. Mm, definitely. Just because we can't see past the sky, why is that? Why should the skies be our limits when there's footprints on Mars? Mm. Don't box us in. Sky's not the limits. It's just our view. Because we know that there's life in the billionth of forms beyond that. And once you start getting that mentality, you just got to go. You understand? Like, you know, um, I'd rather help people than hurt people. Well, let me ask you Absolutely. something, Swiss. 1998 is the best year of my life. Damn, I, I think 2017 is. But no, 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 that is the best year of my new life. New life, okay, got it, got it. I like that. That's a clean, new life. I like that. But the best year of my first life, like I had 97 because of the you war report. You had a couple report. lives, you're, you're The war cat. report, but I was still selling <laughs> drugs during the war report. And it was terrible because people told me my album was classic, but mm -hmm. I was selling um, three for five. <laughs> <laughs> so it on the sidewalk. It didn't, it didn't identify with me. But 1998, best year of my life. Because of? We had the craziest records, and you described that year for you. I mean, that's the best year of my um, life. 1998. It birthed me. 1998 was the beginning of my madness. Mm. I was young, no facial hairs, no, you know, uh, no hope, no guidance. You didn't drink back then, neither. I, I started drinking at 30 and smoking at 30. Mm. Cigars, weed, that is. Wow. Weed, too? I, I, yeah. I've been I've been smoking here the whole time. I, I, I didn't want to. No, you I, had Bacardi I, I, people I, I, with no, you I don't shit. smoke weed every day. Uh, I smoke <laughs> weed and cigars on occasional vacations. This is I a, have to be in a, a very cigar. festive mood. He's got gold weed. He's and a this. boat with water and jet skis in front mm. of me. It's a, like, it's a gold cigar. No, I'm good. <laughs> All right. I'm good. It's about to go ahead, continue. I'm, I'm, I'm good. sorry, continue. Um, matter of fact, give me a hit. Oh, <laughs> I'm good. Let me tell you something. I've been drinking with this nigga before. I've never smoked with him before. Let's make some noise. 20 years ago. What is the gold paper, Ali? Right here. He's got What is it Shine. called? Shine. Shine. First and foremost, Shine. shout out to Ali. Yeah, big up to Ali. Let me tell you something about Ali. Mm. He's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's, a, he's a conscious guy. Mm. I watched him mm. protect the dog mm. in a way nobody might not ever do that again. Mm. Right? I watched him put in his hard work, dedication. Mm. I watched mm. him support Nori. That's right. That man is anointed in a way that's mm. just different. Ali is just different. Right. They don't make him. If you right. don't understand him, you can look past him. Right. But you need to look at him. Mm. Shout out to Ali. Big up Ali. Yeah. Yeah. That was a beautiful. It's but the truth. Now. So let's, now. Let's, let's go. I want to fucking let's go. Let's make take the us ratings through. go. Let's take us through this Rough Rider era. I remember hearing stories of you and Jabal just beating <laughs> niggas up. What? You said <laughs> El Debarge? Jabal. <laughs> I, I like El Debarge, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He was on NRE. And he was stuck down, too. 
She mm. go to the bar just on. Yeah. But you, I, I remember like, like you be fighting too, Swiss. What's going on? Back in then, this this your past life. I still fight. God damn it! Relax. But, <laughs> he just got the baton. No, 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 no. no. Uh, I fight for what's right. Um, I fight for what's right. For the power. First you fight know, for the power. God damn. Um, anybody, a dummy could be physical. Man, heroin. A dummy could be physical. A genius can be mental. Strategic. So my my fight now is with greatness. Mm. Like let's kill him with positivity. Mm. Let's kill him with great ideas. Let's kill him with let's kill him with culture movement. Mm. You understand? Like you know, um, I used to couldn't take words. Like a lot of people talk a lot of words when they're under influence of all these things on our table. Mm. But I'm like, you know what? I know you don't even know what you're doing. I got I got people that call me every day wishing I had a problem with other people. Mm. So I know somebody's bothering you. Let's go. Mm. I don't got nobody bothering me. Mm. Let's, let's enjoy our shit. Like, you know what? There's enough of us hurting us going on today. We got to stop it. We have to stop it, but it's like we got to develop a patience within our own circle. You understand? We might think that like a person know better, but based on that person's upbringing, they might not know better. Mm. You might be an OG, you mm. might be a general, he might be a pawn. Mm. And the pawn's gonna make the most mistakes. Right. Mm. We gotta guide that pawn into being a future general or OG. Mm. It's our job if we know better. Mm. You understand? Mm. So it's like, there could have been, I could have abused my power and 20 of my homies could have been doing a bunch of time and I would have took care of their family just mm. because that was the pro protocol. But it's like, if we can help people more than we can hurt people, then, we, then, then we're, doing a, we're, doing a, we're doing a justice in our, in, our, in, our, in our ecosystem. You know what I'm saying? The easiest thing for me to do is to do something disrespectful. It don't take no thinking to do something disrespectful. Mm. But the most respectful thing to do is something respectful. Right. Listen, bro. Stand let me talk down. to you right oh, now. That was hard. I know you feel like this, mm. but why you really have a problem with me? Mm. Because, uh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I ain't never even really say that. Most of the beef and deaths are over miscommunication. Yeah, if you really listen to the conversation, it's <clears throat> miscommunication. Bullshit. You understand? And we got to have a tolerance to understand the dialogue of the communication to indicate if it's a violation or miscommunication. Mm. A violation, we gotta deal with accordingly. Miscommunication, which is most of the times, what? you go home to your family, I go into my family, I give you a hug, man, I'm happy to meet you. If you ever need something on you in the side, let me know. If I'm on that side, I'm gonna call you, let you know. I met a lot of OGs, real official, authentic OGs, off of miscommunication. Mm. But the intentions of non-violation, you know what I'm saying? Right. It's a difference. Like a lot of people, I can't even. I can't even. Um, they don't even know the code. They don't know the codes, and it takes a lot of OGs to explain the codes. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's not many OGs anymore. Yeah. There is, but not that are. But hold on, being examples. But silent. what is Swiss' favorite era yeah. in hip hop? Period. My favorite era in hip hop is the '90s, mm. and the reason I'm gonna say that is because '90s period, night like, because that's broad. Yeah, because yeah, that's ten yeah. years. All yeah. '90s, all '90s, from beginning so the to whole end. decade. And, and because um, Cardi break. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I just feel like we were very ex experimental. Mm. We was very experimental. Everybody wanted to sound different. Everybody. Everybody the goal was to be as far left as right as possible. Absolutely. Mm. You understand? Creatively, yep. Um, now, nowadays, it sounds like one producer. Mm -hmm. In respect to all those producers, but nowadays, it's an easy fix. It's like, when before we had to like, this table, right? All right. To get the fix. Mm -hmm. You understand? It was a process. Mm -hmm. Now it's like a program process. And no disrespect to the technology or to the people mm -hmm. using technology. I use the technology. Mm. But, you know, um, be as diverse as you can. 
Mm. How are you going to be the producer that you want to be if people think you're three people? When I was Swiss, I was only Swiss. The only thing I can say was <laughs> I was so Swiss that they thought it was Swiss Beats was a group. Mm. I used to be in the airport like, yo, where's the rest of Swiss Beats? They over here. And I used to fucking <laughs> fuck around with them. <laughs> like, they over here. This one's coming in. It'll be in later. <laughs> it was like, you know, the music that you was making was so big that they thought you was... It's with, five of you. You was like many of people. Uh, 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 you know? And, and my mm. thing that I say to producers is like, yo. Mm, that was deep. You know, challenge yourself to be uh, greater than the radio. Mm. All right. And I, I'm sorry. This is crazy. Was is there any producer that you hate? Like, just, like you just be yeah. like, yo, man, this nigga gotta stop. Like, <laughs> yeah. um, there's a lot of producers that's fake, but I can't say that. You know, hate is a be- is a big word. Not not, not not hate like you you don't want him to succeed, but like damn, this this like, nigga like sloppy Joe's is not correct. Like you know you have you, have, you have, I don't need to get those people the time of day to know who they are. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like, my air is so authentic to culture mm. and to what's right. I listen to Fear Like Kuti, Bob Marley, Sade, Noriega, mm. different, different things that, you mm. know, I got a, I got a, a, vari- cool, I got a variety right? of a sound cloud in my own brain mm. to even uh, know somebody that's, like, being on those, on those lines of fake and this and that. Did you mm. ever Were you ever sample Like heavy Like sampling old records Cause I don't um, Yeah I hate when people Sample band from TV Let's just nah, Come on guys Don't change the subject buddy People be keep trying to This motherfucker Can we still say this Right here right now Nah That's what I'm asking That's why I'm asking him this And he just changed The whole fucking subject Please go back Back to your subject Please 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 Again. But were you ever Did you ever sample Were you ever sample heavy On old records I never was sample heavy if, uh, Out of the 550 songs I produced No I know you that For a fact That's what I'm asking If you ever did it Yeah so, I, li- I like I like samples So as my ignorance I, I'm a DJ He's a producer So this, is, this might be Ignorant question on my end you But know, did you, do you think That you ushered in The, the production wave Of not sampling 100,000 percent because know. it changed the game yeah. you know yeah. um, you know Pharrell thanked me and Just Blaze thanked me because you know imagine like before I started not sampling Puff Daddy had the James Brown samples with right. Total and all these different groups on Smash and I came with these non samples and the reason why I came with the non samples was because everything I was sampling I felt like somebody was stealing something from me I'm like I just sampled it's like hi hey. and this, he stole my sound I'm like Nah, that's not your sound. And then I got a uh, Yamaha M1 or whatever the the Korg M1, Korg M1. And I just started playing, playing what I felt was good. And you know, rest in peace to Kev. You know, and in Harlem, Nori know him. Kev Kaz. You know, Kev Kaz. You know what I'm saying? And I just was using the 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 the, the Korg one and doing my thing. And and I, 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 I the reason why I liked it was because. What I, what I came with was unpredictable. And so I knew that nobody can come out with it. And then I also knew that uh, they can clear this. There's no samples to clear. So what you heard right now, you can put out tomorrow. And that was like my my uh, marketing marketing plan at that time. Plus, you don't have to share the publishing I've, at all. I've uh, gained a lot of publishing off of... Right. <laughs> you know, That's what I'm saying. It changed the game. Yeah, I never even knew about publishing until I got the checks. Mm. I never knew, I never knew the the process of a publishing check. I never knew a process of uh, royalties, mechanicals, all those things. Where do we learn that? Who teach us that? Yeah, nobody. What are we going to ASCAP school? They don't teach us shit. Yeah. Nobody don't teach us anything. You know, we just uh, a part of this environment, and we we're, we're creative <coughs> beings, and we do what we feel that's right. Nobody never talked to us about the business, and that's why in in 2017 on forward. I'm going to teach the business. I went to Harvard just because, just so I can teach the people the business. Mm. I want to teach you art. I want to teach you business for free. Education should be free. Knowledge mm. should be free. 
You understand? They hold these things back from us. And then how are we going to get to the next level? How are we going to succeed to the next level? We don't know what we're doing. We're just happy to make a sound. Mm. You understand? What's the parameters of that sound to make our families live in a better life other than the ghetto that we was brought up in? You understand? Like, mm. my whole hood is dead. Right. I don't know nobody in my hood right now. You understand? It's yeah. just like, damn. I go back to my streets. I want to build parks, all these different things. I don't know these motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you wasn't around when I... Who is this? He might dance on me. You know what I'm saying? Mm. I'm in my hood with a bunch of things like... You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. I shouldn't be over here like this. That's but no it's the way. reality of reality. Mm. And we got to face it and we got to change it. Everybody want to... Uh, talk about change but the only change that we're going to have is within mm. we got to change with each other mm. you understand what's going on in Chicago got to change what's going on in New York got to change what's going on in the world got to change and that's going to come within and we got to be smart enough to change those barriers and those rules put them guns away and think more that's why I was proud of the woman's march you know yeah, my the wife the woman's march yeah, she got a, yeah. I was proud of the woman's march my wife, got up, my wife got up at 7 a.m. in the morning and was like, I'm going to the Women's March. There's I'll be nice. back at 3 o'clock. I'm like, seriously? Uh, <laughs> she just did she just she didn't even tell me about it. She just did it. Mm. And, and we gotta be it was a as men, the women is more powerful than us. I believe so too. The, uh, no, I know so. When they stick together. No, period. Mm. The women is more powerful than us because I agree with you. The devotion to um, realism is different. Like we, we we're, we're like um, we're trapped in a lot of different things. Ego, this man power. That shit don't mean nothing. Like the women, if your wife tell you she don't mess with nobody, don't mess with that person. Mm. She gonna see something that you don't see. Mm. And we think we got all the answer, but she be like, yo, I don't like him in the house. Mm. Don't let him in that house. Mm. Mm. Because the reason why you let him in that house, she's seeing why she don't like him in that house. Mm. He went to the bathroom, went to the toilet, and washed his hand and flushed his toilet. <laughs> That's mm. disrespectful mm. shit. Mm. Right. She going to tell you that. Mm. I'm going to go to your house, wash my hands, flush the toilet, make mm. sure the seat down. Mm. Respectful shit. Right, so cruelly. The enemy going to come in and disrespect your home. Piss on the toilet seat. On the floor, <laughs> and, and he, gonna, he gonna wiggle on on, on the rug. The, 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 the rug, the rug, that's protecting the door. He gonna wiggle on the rug. He gonna wiggle. So you telling me I gotta check my rugs now? When a when nigga wiggle on the rug, nigga, yo. You wait on my rug? I'm gonna tell you, you piss on my rug. rug. I'm beat you. you my dog going down. Sometimes you ain't been there a long time because you don't come outside. This guy. You don't leave kids. Okay. Let's get into let's get into the realest, real whatever you feel is the realest, realest, realest ever, ever, ever. I'm you, here for that. I want to get into the I'm Rough cool. Rider Rockefeller beef. What happened? Everybody pussy. Them. No, what? Got that? Wow. What? <laughs> what? 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 Left, right, left, I right. I wasn't quick. ready. I wasn't ready. No, 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 no. no, um, it wasn't really no beef. I know. You it know was saying? the like, balls. Be honest, Beef is something you don't talk about. Now you know what I want to get into because yeah, that's, that's what that was why. Well, um, <laughs> the Freeway Cassidy battle. I like it, that one. Was that when you signed Cass? I had Cass for my dad signed Cass by the way. Cause what happened? Like Hove called you and said, "I got <laughs> Freeway." I remember the conversation. Mm, let's talk about it. Mm. I hit Hove. Mm-hmm. He knew about Cassidy. Mm. They just, they just, um, Rockefeller just went crazy on High Ninety Seven. And I was like, yo, I got cast in the studio. He was like, you ain't hear what we did on the radio? I was like, yeah. I heard you talking about this is Hove talking. It's me and H.O. Okay. I said, yeah, I heard what you did on the radio. He was like. That's even a richer name than he I was like, him. That was Hall. Yeah, H.O. Yeah. I'm still, still on that? Okay. Continue. Yeah, H.O. He was like, yeah, I'm at the studio. Bring him. I was like, all right. Okay, you know, I was like, I'm in the studio with Cassidy. I heard what you did. I heard what you did, but I'm in the studio with Cassie. He about that life. He's like, all right, bring him. I bring him to the studio. Mm. We go upstairs. A lot of them, a lot in a minute. But I got a bunch of goons with me at, at Sony. <laughs> so I'm like, yo. And yeah, had just had the, this is the DMX battle against Rockefeller. Nah, so that's a long this, time ago. That's no, too, no, 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 no
I'm not mind. thinking about nothing but Cassie biting these niggas' heads off. I forgot we did so, all that. So about. you don't you don't know Freeway at this time. No, I don't know Freeway at this time. Okay, yeah, continue. I, don't, I, 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 don't, I heard of him, okay. but I don't. I didn't physically. Uh, okay. Uh, get in your seat, sit down. Yeah, please, get your please, fucking pamper. please. This is historical. Go ahead. Continue. You know, I didn't. I didn't know Freeway at the time. I heard of him. I heard he was nice. And I respect that. Hove was like, yo, I got, we over here, we ready. You ain't here, you heard we did on the radio. I said, okay, well, I'm on my way. Mm. I'll come up there real light, me and Cassidy. I see the room, it's like this right here. I make a phone call to Sony Studio. Yo, we in here, showtime. Mm. So we got to eat, we made the room equal. Mm. All right, and come in there. You talking about Rough Riders, invade the studio. Oh, uh, Rough Riders coming in. Uh, I'm gonna say because our, our fans are stupid. Be a part so, of the group. Rough Riders came to the studio. It was you know. an equal balance. Right, all right, all right. It was yeah, equal I balance. Know. That, that and nigga language for our fans. The Rough Riders invaded the studio. <laughs> right. So an equal balance. So <laughs> now, okay, good. see. We got so, goons on deck. However you want to cut it, whatever. Mm. We, we was meant for whatever. Mm. You know, we could fight, rap, war, heaven, whatever. But it was good vibes. Mm. And um. Cassie and Freeway started battling. Cause who was it that said put it on the beat? <laughs> who was it that said put it on the beat? I like Freeway. You know, you know what? Freeway turned out to be a good person. Mm. He was on his. He he's on his dean. No, to- everybody's good persons. We're not talking about the good person part. <laughs> Talk about this part right here, Switch. Freeway said put it on the beat. I mean, what, what do you, what Freeway? Happened? You know you said put it on the beat. God damn it. <laughs> Let's make some noise for Swiss. God damn it. So, I didn't say put on the beat. I ain't but, even have a fucking beat ready. So. But, but I, because I, I forget. I remember, but I forget. So, was there bars that was a cappella at first? And then, at the, like, you know. It was all a cappella. The whole beat was a cappella. And then, and then Freeway free said put on the beat. All right. Describe uh, that to us. Free, free, I don't know what he thought of his mind because it was oh, a cappella, so you could hear every verse, every line, every punchline. Mm. It was very, it was, it was very uh, mm. serious. Mm. And that man thought of whatever he thought in his head, and he said, "Put on the beat." I mm. said, "Nah, straight bars. We ain't putting on the beat. Mm. Put some beat on that joint." Nah, we ain't putting no beat on and that. Hope was there as well. Right? Well, everybody's there, mm. leaving the room very silent, mm. leaving the fucking room. Wow. Niggas left the room. It is what it is. Wow. I would have left the room too. Fuck Wait, it. I'm sorry. We went way too fast. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody, a lot of people was leaving the room. Beanie Siegel, Hove, and everybody else that placed bets on the table. Uh-huh. It's just, it is what it is. It's a legendary hip hop moment. Let's just make some noise. Uh-huh. You playing that moment? Yeah. 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 Damn it. I ain't gonna lie, see, this is drink champ sometimes. It's like, I sit back and think I, I told know you a story. I was ready tonight. You let <laughs> me go. No, Whatever. but sometimes Give I'll me th- some more. Just, uh, I'm going in. I'm, I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> sometimes I sit back and think I know a story. <laughs> I know a story because I'm close to everybody. And then, you know, I realize that I don't really know shit. That's the reason why we started this goddamn <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. Let's go, let's go. Yes, are, we, are we having another yeah. Saturday party? Bacardi 8 is great. Bacardi 8 by the way, I'm Sorry. drinking Ciroc Give me, in between. Ciroc time. Give me a shot. Give me a shot glass. In, okay, this is my shot glass. Yeah, again? Paquito, come on. I ain't gonna front. I just, I felt like we was gonna take it in our mind. You wanna pretend to take it? it? No, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. I've never pretend to take a motherfucking shot in my life. I got you, dog. Is my, is my Bacardi team still in here tonight? You know, the Bacardi oh, team yeah. is here. Are y'all getting tired? Yeah. They ain't never been out. No, look, I got look, look. Come I got over here. Come on, we taking shots, though. Okay, give me the goddamn shot. Okay. <laughs> one by one. One by one. Go over Haz Mike. Okay, come over here and, 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 and introduce yourself. There you go, Swiss. You look like you from Queens, the boiler room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, yo, didn't you say you live downstairs from Nori? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah come yo, on. He knows Talk you. about no, okay. no, no, okay. no, 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 that was Victor. Yeah, Victor. Okay, okay, okay. Nobody called me Victor in my hood, so you definitely don't know me. But you're still my friend. And then we Bacardi. But go ahead. Talk, go ahead, go talk. Go ahead. Where you from? Where you yeah. from? Miami, actually. Miami. Let's make some noise for Miami, goddamn. Yeah. Welcome to. Where's the bathroom at? Yeah, oh, oh, oh right. we about to. I, I mean, I mean, me too, me too. I'm about to. 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 I
There you go. Well, there you go. Yeah, yeah. Recording again? Now over, over, over. There's a call. We're back. We're back. We're back. We recorded? Yo, Swiss, we got gifts for you. We got gifts from the Drink Champs. Oh, shit, man. Oh, shit. Right here. Hold on. Hold on. Drinkchamps.com. Eight9.com. This yeah. is like three bags. Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. Because it's it's eight, it's Drink Champs and 89 where we at right now. The people who host us are good friends and family. 89.com. I'm going to take this and open it. Hey. Yes. Now, nice. I can't believe I'm on this show. Shots. 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 Is that straight? Damn, this is straight. Damn! Oh, yeah, this is straight as fuck. All right, yeah. Check out yeah, it. Oh, yo. I want to dance. I want to dance. <laughs> so, I love this I'm young and I love to lie. Woo! I to put a stop to this table. Woo! You freeze down? Where are we going? Let's go. That, um, no, this table's not going anywhere. You know what I'm talking about. The Kanye West what song. Do. What he said. Uh, what's the, what's the song? What the fuck? 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 He did the video. The, um, that's on the pop. Famous. 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 Oh, Famous. Six Grammys nomination this year for, ah. for no reason? Okay. Famous. <laughs> Nori season, eh? Famous. Nori season, Famous. Famous. Nori season but, eh? But, 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 we sampling that. I'm young <laughs> now, so I'm about, Oh, yeah, oh, oh that's the intro. Oh, yeah. uh, 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 damn, we got a beatbox right there? Ooh. What, what was that session know. like? It's crazy. I did 40 beats in that session. Damn, 40 beats in a session. 40 beats in that oh, session. You went back to 98 Swiss. Yeah, I did I did I did a lot of songs on that album. Mm. You know, Famous was one of them. Um and four more other songs on that album was, was one well, of them. Let's stick with famous for right now. Yeah. Famous. How did that yeah, shout out to Prodigy? You know, Prodigy uh he laid out the drum vibes. He laid out You a mean Havoc. Havoc. Yo, Havoc. I was about, uh, yeah, I got confused. He, he, he on Bacardi so eight. And on Bacardi I, eight. I, 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 Bacardi eight hired me, so I'm keeping it straight. <laughs> I got Bacardi it. But he was on the right yeah. path though. Go ahead. He's in the right group. Um Havoc. Shout yeah. out to Havoc. Yeah, yeah he talked about it on our podcast. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. He he was a big part of that. Mm. All I did was just like I filled in the ice cream on on you know, I just filled in the, the you know the, the icing. Mm. To be honest. Mm. And she was already fresh. Mm. Kanye wanted me to do my vocals, add a couple of uh, sounds and different things to it, and we made famous. Mm. Which is famous. Six and times. we was already famous. Mm. <laughs> famous on famous. top of famous. Now, who's your favorite CEO you ever worked with? Clive Davis. Wow. Mm. That was fast. Wow, that was hella yeah, fast. Mm. Clive Davis and Jimmy Iovine. Mm. Uh, they, because they both invested in my early Interscope Yeah I, I, You know When I did all that First Rough Ride music That was Jimmy Iovine Right You know mm -hmm. he was already Following up from Death Row Right And so the closest thing To Death Row Was Rough Riders mm -hmm. You understand You know uh, We might have been A little bit dangerous Than Death Row But uh, The music spoke for itself And then Clyde Davis Gave me my first label so uh, Full Surface was with Cassidy and all this, and Bone, and everybody was at Clive Davis J Records. You know, both of those my mentors, you know, uh, blessings to them. Make some motherfucking noise for that, goddamn. The Swiss, like I said, we. That's for you. You definitely edited this out. That's all. Yeah, you, know, you, know, you, know, you know me. I round one. That shit's dope. Now we can edit this out. Now we can edit this out. Let's raw. Yeah, but keep talking so they can't round one. Uh, uh, so I was about to ask you, Swiss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the one of the podcast is gonna do that. Am I booking 
that studio in Circle House, so I'm booking the hazardous sound. The hazardous sounds, I got the guns. Don't you worry. You gotta do the hazardous well, sounds, studios, it's, man. It's, it's a little rough. Gotta, it's a little what? No, 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 I'm just playing. Cause it's, it's, in, it's in Haiti, for real. Like, you should, like, what's my hat? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. So we, right. go, yeah. we go to Hazardous I, I was, Sounds. You go to Hazardous Sounds. I, 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 I walk through City Soleil, you know what I'm saying? Oh! So That's my Me too, I want that too. Side by City side. Soleil. I'm about to say Swiss walk through City Soleil four City. hours in a day, god damn. Oh, and no, but not many City people can go Soleil. there. It's true. No, 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 I was really in City Soleil. Yeah, no, I, I went there too. It, it, not, not many people no, can no, go there. No, no, he when went I, there. When, I, when, I, when we pulled yeah. it, he was seen it. He's seen it. it. We, yeah. I was in no, City Soleil. No, it's on TV. Yeah, he's seen it. I went there. I made a documentary. I went there. Seen, 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 seen. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, Swiss, you've done everything you had to do in the music business. And then I recently oh. seen you. Oh, he opened up the hot sauce. You opened up the hot sauce. The hot Drink sauce? Champs hot sauce. Where's the hot sauce boss at? Give me some wings or something. <laughs> mm. 89. Eight eight we got to invest in the wings. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. He's having That's a meat and hot sauce. A meat and hot sauce. Everything else. Yeah. 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 What's, what's the website? How what's the website? How is good. That's good, man. I like the room attack. Yeah, <laughs> we're not even ready. What's mm. the website? I was, I was, yeah, I wasn't ready. Hot sauce, boss. <laughs> Thank you. I'm taking this home. Can I take this home? Yeah, yeah please. That's take yours. it. We'll That's give you all, all the flavors. That's yours. Yo, yo, but Swiss, how can you remain so humble with all the accolades you made? I ain't going to front. Earlier you said you had art. I seen art that's bigger than that tree in your house. <laughs> You got that, Mickey Mouse. Big ass sculpture? <laughs> Cars. Yeah. Book and Museum. Yeah, and um, but you still humble. You still came here as a humble person. How can how can a person succeed so much and then still be as humble as, as that? Um, just knowing where you come from. Mm. Just knowing that, you know, uh Roman noodles used to be my dinner every day. Mm. You know, just knowing ramen that the studio noodles. ramen noodles, mm. you know, you know, just knowing that a dollar of French fries was mm. was you was famous. Mm. Uh, some ribs from the Chinese store, you was extra famous. Mm. Cheese uh, pizza with extra cheese, you was extra extra famous. Mm. You understand? And just knowing that we all come from the bottom. <laughs> And, you know, it's a blessing mm. for us to be here today. Definitely. Us just waking up this morning, you know, we die in our sleep. Mm. How do we know what, what life is? God, rest in peace, Q. Q from World. Yeah. He died in his yeah. sleep, yeah. I'm saying? Re re rest in peace, mm. Q. It's terrible. But, you know what? You know what's interesting about life? Mm. Before they finish this shit that they're doing in the background? Mm. Oh, no, that's, that's right here. <laughs> that's <laughs> yeah. right here. <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> You know, uh, in your dream, you can use 100% of your brain. Right. Mm. But in life, you can use 5% of your brain. Mm. You understand? Like, in your dream, you can overcome every obstacle. You can fly. You can do right, whatever the fuck. Yeah, you can yeah. do everything, right? Yeah. But on, in life right here, you just so bound and strapped down. So is mm. this a dream or is this life? Mm. And that's one thing that we got to battle with every day. And I'm, I wake up in the morning, I'm like, man, I just had a dream of me flying. And I'm in earth and life, and I can't fly. So mm. is that a dream or is that reality? Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we got to figure out what side of the fence we on, you know? This is a movie. <laughs> mm. We're not the directors. But before we get up out of here, what, whatever, like, you know, because I just remember Damn, 10 hard years of Swiss just controlling it. But whatever producer that you said, damn, this guy might got me. Or this guy is my coming for the next year. Mm. Whatever do to you is like, yo, I'm going to step my game up. A lot of songs, you know, um, I wish I produced the Benjamins. Mm. What about the Benjamins? Who produced that? That's the, that's the hit. Derek Angelady and the Hitman. D-Dot. Mm -hmm. You understand? You know, I wish I produced uh, They Want to Flex, Dots Effects. Woo! They Want to Flex, huh? Yeah. Doom, doom. Because you know, they used to pull back that intro. They Want to Flex, and I was like, huh? damn. You know, this is before I became on, so I was like, damn, imagine if I did something like that. Mm. Where, where would I be? You know, um, just to get a rep gang star. So, so, so with the same mind frame, what producers influenced you? The ones I'm talking about? Right, right. But right? is there specifically, like, you're saying the songs, but is there Gangstar, any... Gangstar. Uh, so, Premier. Primo, right? Right. You know, uh, uh, I, don't, I don't know who the producer was for Dice Effect at that time. Yeah. Mm. Anybody you know? know? Um, you know? 
Yeah. You know, um, but I wasn't inspired by producers. You mm. understand? I never, I never even knew what a producer was. Like, the sounds. No, I was inspired by DJs. Uh -huh. I was inspired by Ron G. I was inspired Mark. by Kid Capri. I was mm -hmm. inspired by Doo Wop. I was inspired by Twelve Hundred yeah. Assassin. SNS. I was inspired by you know uh, SNS. You know what I'm saying? I was, I was inspired by uh, DJ Red Alert. Mm, absolutely. Ch chill out. Tony Touch. Mm. Tony Touch. Flex. You mm. know all these DJs. Clue. Mm -hmm. You know. I was inspired by DJs, and I, I became a producer by default. Right. I became a producer by just making instrumentals. Because I heard for my you intro. was a DJ. Yeah, and then I heard, also you was a DJ. Then you first. go to West Indies oh. or something like that. It was like no, I West, went to Atlanta. Uh, I thought I thought you went to Atlanta and the West Indies, and you came back or something like that. No, no, I grew up in the Bronx. And he gave you I a whole. Up, I, I grew up in stuff. I grew up in Boston Road, which was like the West Indies. Mm -hmm. So I was the first youngest producer DJ at the Stardust. You know, uh, mm -hmm. when Slick Rick had his incident outside. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, I was there for those different things. And wow. When Super Cat had his incident Woo. outside, Damn. right? I was there for those incidents. And um, I was a producer. I used to DJ with Renaissance, Waggy T. Yeah, Waggy T. Uh, you know homie from out here. You know, Stone Love. All of, I was the hip hop producer for, the, for for those DJs at that particular time. Young to even wow. be in the club at that time. Mm. You understand? And I was just out there thugging it. You know what I'm saying? Thug, thug. What? 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 Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mm. Like N O R E. You know what I mean? Wow. And your favorite ever in hip hop is my f uh, musician. No. Period. Just in, just in. My favorite ever or, in hip hop. I'm gonna yeah. just keep it real clean and simple as DMX. Mm. Because I was able to witness that movie in a front row seat. Mm. Mm. But there's different eras of DMX. So can we labor it down? My era of DMX. Mm. The era of DMX. Mm. And then the return of DMX, which uh, we haven't been able to see yet. Because it's, it's unwritten coming. yet. It's yeah, coming. No, it's written, but it's uh, unpublished yet. Right, okay. Mm. It might be Perfectly published Perfectly expressed. Yet. You understand? Mm. And so, you know, I might have been a fan of a lot of other people, but you know what? I wasn't able to... You know, a lot of people that we think that's real is not really real. Mm. You understand? Like, their music might be real, but they might curl under that pressure. They tail might tuck under their ass mm. under that pressure. You understand? And like, you know, with the dog, you ain't never, ever seen a dog talk about no other labels than my family label. Mm. Yeah. Excuse me. Uh, Yamukla. Uh, what? What the was that? That's bless you. Yamukla. But, but say it again, That's though. Arabic. Yamukla. Right? I like the, thing that. That, <laughs> the thing that Yamukla. I respect. The thing that I respect about Dog is you never seen him flipping, flopping through labels since he started. He might have had Bloodline, but it was always a rough ride label right. somewhere mm. around him. Mm. Ever. Like. Mm. People tried to buy him out for way more money than we could afford at those times. And the dog always kept it 1,000. Mm. And that's why in this current time, people are going to be able to see his movement in Godspeed. You understand? Let's and, make some know, noise for that. God damn it. Yes! Yeah! Hot sauce is good, though. The hot sauce? You, hot sauce. Yo, yo. Yo, Ali, you gotta close the deal already. Swiss done took two shots of hot sauce. This shit is awesome. You got the website? Ali? Oh, it's on yeah. drinkchannel.com. Coming soon. That's that cook. Yeah, that's the hot sauce there. boss over he, there. He, he, hot sauce. The hot sauce. She Swiss took two shots of your hot sauce. Swiss, that's the dude. Yeah, yeah. Talk on. Talk on. Let's go. Let him know where they can find the hot sauce. Drink Champs 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 hot sauce. The the drunk sauce, sauce on location Let's right now. Yeah, they ain't yeah. just talking about doing bit. They ain't just it. talking about the shot. They doing yeah. business with shot town. Mm. Drunk sauce. The shot. Mm. Shout drunk out to the Let's get it popping. I'm good. taking this home. Say yeah, no, nah, it's nah, a bad. Whatever you like. Look, this was not even open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here's a gift. Here's a gift. It's not even open. Yeah. Oh man, thank you. Thank you. So how does a kid from the Bronx, right? You speak to your uncle. They may or may not believe you. <laughs> you come to the studio with me. Yeah. We, we, we make it classic, but at that moment, remember, 
Remember, he took another shot. That's, that's high sauce. He, he likes high sauce. I don't know. I think he's but remember, the sodium back back then, then, for you there. But back then, we recorded the record in 97. It don't drop to 98. Right. How, how how do you maintain to say, yo, I'm the guy? These records that come out that next year, because we had to record it in 97. Mm-hmm. Because, the, I mean, that's just how the climate matched up. Am, am, I, am I correct or maybe factual? No, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, because yeah. you had to record it a year yeah, early. Yeah, everything was took long. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I, I mean, I might be fucked up because no, no, I, I you're, took you're correct. You're correct. Everything. Me too. But so, but how do you maintain to say Chaps I time. know what I did is this, and let me continue to go. Um, you know, the blessing that I had was I was always in control of my destiny. Mm. You know, I never had somebody predict. Or tell me what I need to do mm-hmm. uh, from a creative standpoint. Now I did have to answer m- to my uncles on a ethnical standpoint, and that's respect protocol standpoint. Right. Oh, you know, should, yeah. I can never um, to this day still I got to answer those questions. Respect. You know, I, I can never be in a problem today and then present it uh, uh, present it in front of the board. Right. He might have a problem with me. And I might feel type of way. I can't move on him until the team say mm. we have no other choice. Or you know what? That's because of this, this, and this. Let's help him instead of that. You know, hurting him. Mm. There's rules to this, and, a lot, and I think like a lot of these youth out here, they don't understand the protocols and, and the different ways that you got to go about handling things. Mm. You understand because. A lot of people talk about a lot of colors, mm. blood, crips, race, this, that, and the third. That thing we bleed is the same color. Mm. Absolutely. It's literally the same color. And so, you know, I don't go to the clubs. You ain't never seen me in no clubs, popping yeah. bottles, stunting on people, doing this and the third. Yeah. People might think I'm stunting, but I, I like nice things that I work hard If you for. did, you testing the record, I've been seeing you in the club. That's it. That's hard. You know what I'm saying? Like I don't, I don't. I seen you do that with me early. I went to the studio with you, and you went to the you went to the club and played back with TV. You know, the club I was like, I'm was... not sure if I'm good. This thing played, and I was like, the, but everywhere went crazy. And that was I was before like, I even. No, at all. no, no. I'm talking about that night. Was it mixed? Listen, listen, listen. If if you notice. He he knew every story for every artist, <laughs> so he been doing that shit since then. He was a DJ. He took brand from TV that's and dope, played that's it. Dope. And I, I went to the club and I was like, I'm, I'm not sure. This is 1997. Yeah, but but, but continue. But, I, but that I, was I, all. I, I felt that the people in the club, if you can play a Nori record uh. after the biggest record at that time, we had something. Mm. You understand? Know I, I remember bringing Dr. Drake to the club, mm. and he ain't been in the club in, in a long time, and he had a hard time being in that club. Mm. But when he heard his music, I seen his life. Because mm. that's Billy, what he does it for. I seen his life like uh, embracing love. You understand? You know, and then all my records. I remember when I brought Hope to the club for uh, on to the next one. I, he was like, "Yo, you you, you lead that shit. I'm, I'm on my shit." Uh, he was over there in the VIP. I was in the DJ booth. And that motherfucker on to the next one came on. Them people felt some type of way. The nigga looked at me and threw that drink in the club. He ordered all this type of shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because we was on to the next one. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? But it's like, you know what? In life, it's what we got to celebrate. There's no big eyes and little use. Like A lot of people like to make a lot of categories of who's who and what's what. The, the 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 war in this world is between good and bad, right. good and evil. You either a good person or not. It ain't about no race, religion, about ain't about none of that politic political politic shit that they put in front of us. You either real or you fake. You either mm. good or you bad. That's the mm. war that we fighting in this world today. So pick your side. You either real or you fake. A lot mm. of fake niggas. A lot of real niggas. You either good or you bad. A lot of good motherfuckers, a lot of bad motherfuckers. Mm. And that's what the war is about. From our presidency, to our streets, to our politics, to our brotherhood, to everything. 
you got a good cousin or a good brother or a bad brother or fuck you, brother. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people in our family, they might can get it too. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because, like, can't nobody get you except for a person that's close to you. A stranger can't get you. Right. A stranger got to be, his intel got to be so precise to get to you that it's still personal. Let me ask you a question, right, Swiss? Mm. Because you, you like, I know you from the hood. I know you from the, uh, you, you want me to fill you up? Let's, let's fill you up? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> but now, you are part of this Kanye awesome. West record. Are we back to right. Kanye again? No, no, no. Because this record was very controversial. Which no, one? No, because this record, the, the famous record. Because when he did the, uh, you know, the the video with the naked people, uh, yeah, naked in any fucking way. I know. He made them look good. Them nasty motherfuckers. Look at it. <laughs> <laughs> but but. All right, yeah. All right, go Man, back. Naked people, come on. Ban me from all type of fuck everybody. What's no, up? no. <laughs> so, but and then now this Taylor Swift controversy comes okay, out. Okay. The yeah. what? The what? And because was you know, let's just be honest. Like I know you as a hood nigga. Like you, you my nigga. But at the end of the day. Your wife is a very prominent. Oh, figure. Taylor Swift. Yeah, no, that's Taylor. not my wife. Oh. That's not my wife. No, not Taylor Swift is not Taylor Swift. No, no. I don't know what you yeah. saying. You know what I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, how do you stand? Like, did you heard the vocals where he was like, for like me and Taylor, like... Kind of had sex. You know, um, I didn't really go into this thinking about any artist. Mm -hmm. You know, I went, in, I went into this because I got an invite from my brother, Ye, mm -hmm. and he wanted to be creative. Big him up. And we spent... More than 48 hours with no sleep in the studio, just doing everything that we felt was good. Mm. And whatever he kept, I was good with it because I know that we spent that time in that studio. Mm. And I even posted pictures of us sleeping on the couch, mm. you know, for a couple of hours that we did sleep at nine in the morning. You know, yeah. um, I respected every part of that craft. And, mm. you know, I was happy to have fun with him because, you know, Ye is in the space where. You know, are you really there for for the fun or the fame or the fortune or the pain? You understand? I, 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 I ain't never asked that man for. I don't even get it. I don't even get Yeezys for free. Mm. Uh, we gotta stop this right now. We gotta all start getting Yeezys for free. Let's make some noise for that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I paid my son. My son right, is. I got my, a Jordans. My son and is. I don't in, those, uh, no, my, no, no. My son was really into this fashion shit. I paid like fifteen hundred for a pair of sneakers. That all right? We gotta stop this right now. I could violate niggas. Like, don't make me go. Don't make me feel funny about it. Mm. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna support him. You got the Reebok shit too. Yeah, Reebok is Reebok is a fam. Yeah, we and, need and, some and, drunk box. We, but listen, everybody got to get their mind right. Reebok. This, that, and the third. Mm. Oh, if you you're you're not either about the, the culture or you're not about the culture. Mm. I don't care about no position in this, that, and the third. I feel like you're you shutting me back down. Like, shots, shots, fired. shots fired. No, I'm not shutting nobody <laughs> down. I ain't shot no, shooting <laughs> okay, okay. no fires because mm. I walk in the building, we'll do that, and you'll read about it. Mm. You understand? I'm just saying it is like what it is. I like that boss talk. It is what it oh. is. Mm. You're either with us or you're not. Mm. Right. Don't, don't, huh? That's my nigga Snaz right there. That's my nigga. Reebok, Reebok is with this, my fans. I, I haven't had a pair. I, I haven't wore a pair of Nikes on my feet in mm. nine years. Mm. I don't even know what a Nike feel like. Mm. But if Reebok is going to embrace the culture, mm. embrace the culture. That's it. They did something with Cam, right? The pink. Embrace the culture. Embrace the culture. Got All a little way. awkward. We don't want. <laughs> no, it's not no awkward. It's a question. It's not awkward. whatever I say here. I tell it to them too, in front of the boardroom, in front of, in front of whoever they want to talk to. Mm. Because I gave my all. I give mm. my all. Mm. I remember I couldn't mail a person a pair of Reeboks. They would mail them back to me. Mm. You had to be from New Orleans. If you're from New Orleans, they'll love your Reeboks. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, what happened? You know, I, 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 I like, talk on the truth. The reason you, you, if you look at UFC, <laughs> if you what? look at the UFC right now, yeah. you see a Reebok in that ring. 
Swiss Beats, mm. Dana White, Lorenzo Fertitta signed mm. that deal. I brought that deal to the table. Mm. You understand? Know I'm, I'm the reason why Reebok is in UFC every uniform. I uniform wow. UFC. It's big as fuck. They was having Slim Jim, all these brands on these uniforms. I said, you know, football and NBA don't do this. Let's clean mm. up the sport. Mm. I brought Reebok to the table. They was going to another brand. You got the well, track. You got the Elliot Wilson train. That's the Elliot Wilson. Well, shout out! Shout out to all that right there. Yeah. <laughs> That's a special, special train. Sabotage. It's a special sabotage. train. You did Rap Radar a couple of times. This, this I, like, is I like Rap Radar. But well, this is their train. Relax. This no, is, no, yeah. no, I do like Elliot Wilson <laughs> for the content Relax. that we spoke right. about. Right. Right. This is another type of vibe. Right. Yeah. Totally different this, vibe. This you want to hear it again? Oh, <laughs> I ain't, never, I ain't never did this on TV. Never. Yeah, never. You're on the chance, man. Right? Yeah. I inspired no. kids. And you thugged it out, too. You said, give me that. Oh, yeah, that's right. Oh, we had 360. We had 360. Let's inspire the kids. Let's inspire the kids. Right. Right. Some of the kids need this shit because them was yeah. crazy. <laughs> That's right. The we ain't the problems for the kids. So what was what was your most amazing session? Like, I know you gotta have Michael Jackson stories. You gotta have Mariah. <laughs> What's so, that? That's a like, Mariah Big Boss. What this? This, this, this is Mariah Big Boss. This, 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 <laughs> You switched it up on me without telling me that? <laughs> what? The weed or the question? The weed, nigga. <laughs> no, this, 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 you ain't this. tell me that was a braca. Yeah. Uh, no. Is that braca that big one? Smoking it dirty? Let me know, no, my nigga. No, no, no. Relax. 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 Let me know. No, no, no. So what was yeah. your most amazing session where you was like, damn. Um, this nigga. Um, <laughs> Chico the ball. No, not Chico. Elder Barge. Elder Barge. Oh, Chico, no, Chico, Chico, the son, the son. But Chico, my nigga, he was on NRE out. And my most amazing session was, ain't had shit to do with me. Mm. It was Michael Jackson in Sony Studios. Mm. That must have been He crazy. had that motherfucker looking like Playland. Toys, Legos. I went into the studio, him and Teddy Riley in there laughing and, uh, what's, what's the other producer, uh, you, you know, with, um, Rodney Jerkins. Uh, yeah. I, I, I was about to say some shit. Okay, you can say it. You can say it. Well, don't. Uh, don't. Nobody nobody is, if you're going to regret it, don't say it. Nobody is going to say it. Because people will hear it. You know, uh, it is what it is. This, this is Rodney, don't, they don't even know this. Uh-huh. But you know, New York City is our town. That's right. Talk about it. You know, a lot of people can uh, play around with it, but you ain't never hear nobody disrespect our family in our town. Ne- period. Never. Rough never. Riders, who, what, where, how, when. Never. And, and when you heard about it, we carried it out all the way. Mm. Uh, blessings to all unfortunates, right? Mm-hmm. But I used to, I, I had a rule that none of the producers could get robbed. So Ronnie Jerkins would pull up an M and Jury, this one for real, this one, that one, and and. I used to see people like really planning on them, and I was like, if y'all if y'all do that to them, that's, that's a violation. That means that's open season for me. Okay. Y'all might not be around me. Um, y'all might not be around me all these different days. I might be in another space, mm. and somebody might feel like the producers is open season. Right. Mm. I can't be a part of that. You know what I'm saying? So my own fellow membership couldn't violate those those traits. So if a producer came in, I don't care what he had on. He was protected by the law of uh, kind of what I created. Yeah, your law. Out, out of respect. What's the you know, and, 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 and it saved their lives. Like, literally, like, I'm listening to people, and I'm like, y'all can't do that to him? Mm. That's like, if I'm over here, they're going to feel like they can do that to me. Mm. You understand? And they don't even, like, those producers... They don't even know um, how, uh, how many how, how you definitely saved. saved. No, no, no. <laughs> they don't know. <laughs> now they know. Trust me, it was a heist. It was too easy. Your yeah. security not cut like that. You not cut like that. And your manager's not cut like that. It's whatever. Like mm. it was, it was food, and I wouldn't let nobody eat off the producer's plate. 
You know it's what a saying? beautiful thing. I just want to let nobody do that. Let's make some noise for Swiss, goddamn. Now, what do you love about the new school? Let, 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 let's praise what's happening now. What I love about the new school is that we can't relate to it. <laughs> That's what you love about it. Oh, you can. It. Can't. That's what you love about it. I love that about that because... Because it's evolving. That means that we, we, we... Go ahead. I'm sorry. <laughs> How many people uh, was comfortable in their ways couldn't relate to NRE? Absolutely. At that particular time. Mm. They couldn't relate to it. They couldn't relate to DMX. They couldn't relate yeah. to Hove. They were yeah. stuck in their old ways. Mm. I love that I can't relate to it. And it's a constant <clears throat> reminder and builder of what we need to have a little bit more patience with. We might not understand, but the youth might understand. And at that time when Nori was coming, the youth understood that. Mm. And then the OGs of that time, their particular team couldn't understand him. Right. I remember when they couldn't understand me. Right. I did Money Cash Hold. I slid my hand across the keyboard. They thought it was a sin. Mm. It turned up to be a win. You understand? Jigger is uh, uh, the same thing. Bad wait, from wait, TV, the same wait, wait. thing. Money cast host said that one time. That was, he said he slid his hand across the creek, like <laughs> keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I slid you know my hand across the keyboard. That's crazy. They that's didn't that's think that's I was that's win. That's they think they didn't think I was win. They they didn't think I would win. They thought it was a sin because the uh, shit was too easy to begin. Uh, uh, sure. yes, oh, Make me make a beat out Let's go, let's go. Yeah. 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 Yo, that was hard, Swiss. Mm. That was hard. So, <laughs> damn, damn. Cause, so now, cause this, this is what I say. I, I have never been disappointed in hearing hip hop. Even when I'm in hip hop. That's a big statement. All right, let me, let you me, have let me, never let, been, let me. I've been. I've been. I've been. Yeah, definitely. I've definitely That's been like the shit you saying. I ain't never heard that one. So I need no. you to be very clear on what you mean. You ain't never been disappointed in hearing hip hop. No, I'm. If I were to say rap, both of y'all. No, 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 no. Rap is hip hop. Hip hop. Hip hop is. I'm rap. talking about rap too. You ain't never been disappointed in hearing rap. No, no, no. I've been disappointed in hearing rap a long time. Rap could be bad hip hop. It don't matter. It's a long hip-hop. time. But I'm saying hip hop. I think that hip hop can can continue to exist. Right. As I think streaming lowered the playing field. And that's because, what we need to get into. Let's get into that. Because streaming. I really want to get into that. What I'm trying to say is, it's streaming. Let's suppose whatever whoever you are, but as long as you're promoting your streaming shit, right? You can level the playing field for whoever who has people. Who is spending millions of dollars and in, in these promotional dollars? Oh no, am I bugging now? Um, you I know think what? it's changing now. You know what? The reason why I like streaming is because the streamers are getting their props. You know, they might not have the hundreds and uh, thousands in the first week, mm. but the streaming accounts for those different votes. Mm-hmm. That um that wouldn't be accounted for. Mm-hmm. So it's like you know what? If you independent, excuse me, and and you and, and you're streaming, and your digital uh, component is connected, you winning. You know, if you look at if you look at Drake, and all of the barriers that he broke this year, it wasn't really based on physical. Mm-hmm. It's mm-hmm. like, let's talk about physical. Well, let's talk about Which is non-existent now. What was the never a fancy video? Oh, there was a fancy video. Yeah. I shot that. Mm. We shot that. I was in that. Mm. Um, the reason why I wasn't approved uh, is unknown. Let me get my hands on it. I will leak it. <laughs> it was fun. We had a good time. Same thing was T.I. Swing Your Rags. No, I know why. Because uh, Gucci didn't want to, we had swinging Gucci right they wouldn't, they ain't want to clear all them rags in that fucking video. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got stories. We never, we yeah. never knew. Let's go. I'm here to talk that so, talk. So, <laughs> and you and Drake, you never really worked together since then, right? Um, we worked together on my, on my wife's album. Mm. You know, I think uh, Drake is a, a creative guy. 
Mm. And I'm gonna just leave that at that, cause. You don't want me to. I feel like it got a little No, nah, I mean, huh? we're here to talk. I feel like it got a little weird. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not a weird guy. Me neither. If That's I got a problem with some, I weird. think both you guys are being weird right now. <laughs> <laughs> I can agree with that. <laughs> Alright, so let's switch the subject. Alright, Swiss is the subject. You know what? You should talk. You know what? You I'm know, like you um, to you know, um, Let's talk, Swiss. Nobody listens to us anyway. I think, like, you know, there's no rules to fame. There's no rules to that. When you came in this game, anybody that you know that's famous, let me know the guy that they had to lead into it. You understand? Especially coming from the streets. We coming from the streets. We ain't even know we could be amongst the name of famous. Mm. We was nameless. Mm. You understand? People look past us. Ain't nobody look at us. Ain't nobody look at no. Ain't nobody look at nobody in this room. Or mm. better yet, any artist that's playing on this radio that came from the bottom into something. Mm. You understand? So mm. you know, when I look at different things, I got to gauge it on a different level. And I, I have the gauge on where we come from. Is there Drake. anybody that disappointed you? Hey, he was you about to say something. You just yeah, Drake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm sorry. Drake come from a different. Uh, he come from a different lineage mm. of where we come from. Mm. This is a person that is our biggest fan turned into his biggest man. Mm. Came from our biggest fan turned into his biggest man. He mm. know about more about us than we know about us. Because he just tapped into that different, he just tapped into a different zone. Mm. And then he figured out how to make great music. You know, um, I just, I'm not even going to, like, for real, I don't even want to play with these people because one of their mans want to jump out of line. I, I, I'm, you know, I just respect um, all the blessings that came to a person from, from being creative. Make some noise for that, goddamn it. <laughs> Say. I need a shot. whip a nigga off his fucking private plane. Yeah, uh, like, take, 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 yeah. <laughs> Come on. Are we taking another shot? Guy. I feel like we're taking another shot. Of take car. Oh, you want another shot of Bacardi? I'm, 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 I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. I'm in. No, no. A shot of Bacardi. I'm in. I'm in. No, my glass has been on that No, no, my friend. You know what I'm saying? Then pour your your glass into a shot. If I really say that shit, I'm not even scared of these niggas like that. Like, to be honest. Uh, However, they want to cut the cake. It's my birthday. Every day is your birthday. Every day is your birthday on Dream Every day is your birthday. When you wake on up, Dream when you wake up, and New Year's Eve, you, it's every, your birthday every, and New Year's Eve on Dream Champ. Every every night you died in your sleep. Chichi get the When when God when God woke when when God or whoever you believe in woke you up that morning, ah, it's your blessing. That's your new star. The fact that you're breathing and seeing light Relax. is a plus. Who's that? Cool. Ayo. Relax. Relax. I think they're building oh, a man. new bathroom back there. No, come on, Swiss. Don't worry about it. Okay. They never they never pick up on the mic anyway. Uh, yeah, no, I hear everything right okay, okay, okay. Alright, alright, I'm gonna keep it real. No, no. So oh, oh you flirted on the shot? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely got good ears. I can hear things yeah, that I'm hearing. I'm tuned to fuck out. No, I, I hear music. everything. I'm that's I'm the DJ. Yeah, I'm here. So now I'm here. I'm here for us. I'm here for us, bro. There's DMX and Jay Z Bow. Yeah. The infamous. Oh, you been back I then. like your step. Now we get into that. Were you there? Were you there? No, I wasn't. <laughs> okay. I was late. All right. We like your step. I've been late because... <laughs> so you was late today. I never man. slept. They called me Swiss Beast the Monster because I never slept. Uh, so that's how I got them. You were late today, name. nigga. But uh, <laughs> I was early. <laughs> no. You were late <laughs> early in <laughs> your mind. Uh, what, what, time I got here? what time I got here? Nah, you, you got, got here a little late. late. You got yeah. here like 45 minutes late. Nah, no, I was supposed to get here at 9.30. What time did I get here? No, you're supposed to get here at 9. No, they yeah. said 9.30. They told us 9. They said 9.30. They said 9.30 the latest. What time did I get here? 9.45 and a half. You got here at 10.45 in my mind. That is like motherfucking... Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, so no, now you got 10 45. I gotta show up so late because he gotta dance. You gotta, you want him to dance? No, not oh, literally. Fabio, dance. Fabio is coming <laughs> out. <later. laughs> Fabio is coming out later. But, but so now you hear about? Hold on, hold on, one second. Right. Let me tell you something. Fabio, I've been in meetings globally uh, with my position. A lot of people don't know my position at this brand mm. that we're drinking. Mm. Um, they don't know where it come from. They don't know how it happened. I never even talked about it. Mm. I'm in control of 300 brands mm. that people drink. 
Bombay. Shit, Jim. Do say? It's. Well, it's all Bacardi. Yeah, I can't say. I can't It's all Bacardi. Oh. Grey Goose, Bacardi 8, all of the Bacardis. Wow. Doers. Can I get in on half of all it? All of this shit. And I flew from Thailand, New York. Stop clapping. Dubai, <laughs> New York. Stop clapping. Texas. I will keep clapping. Atlanta. <laughs> Miami. Your clap doesn't help anything. You know what I'm saying? Does it help? No. Those are all of the. It hurts my hand. Go on. And landing, <laughs> landing in Miami and being a meeting at 9 a.m. Clap this now. Let's make some noise. I'm not gonna lie. I'm trying to get all these bottles of Bacardi on the table with a check. Mm. So oh, no yeah. I'll, I'll be so Listen, happy. I'm not gonna lie. My passport, like, if my passport stepped up, then he said, like, more countries. My passport just said, it's over. <laughs> <laughs> my passport. Yo, you really been in all these many countries. No, listen. Wait, wait. Yes. Let's go back to what he said. Bacardi on the table. All Bacardi. Let's go. No, check no, no. All Bacardi. No, no. Rock is the no. best. Listening in the world. to what he said. <laughs> all Bacardi and and rum. You know, you know, rum. you know, you run the rum, rum, rum. rum. You run the rum section. I was posting. You know, Puff hit me right. That's that's, that's my OG. Mm. The reason why I started Adler was because of Puff. Mm. The reason why you got Showtime, goddamn it, Showtime, all those hypes came from Puff Daddy. Mm. I didn't know about that shit until. Puff mm. Daddy, this for my niggas mm. though. Special delivery, God damn uh. yeah, ladies and gentlemen. Mm. That's Puff Daddy. Mm. Factual. He's the Adler King. King. Revolt TV in the me. building. Uh, Revolt TV. Revolt, Revolt, TV. Blunt. <clears throat> Revolt TV. TV. Puff hit me and was like, Swiss. God damn it. Whoa. <laughs> you really like Great Goose like that? I said, it's under the umbrella. I run 300 of the brands. He said, get your money, nigga. <laughs> I said, as I will. <laughs> I said, but we're going with rum. Uh-huh. Bacardi 8. And the fact that, like, he didn't downplay me. He didn't diss me. He didn't even put me in, like, a compromising situation. He right. didn't. He just didn't know that we owned all those different particular brands. So he, mm. he was like, you know... Uh, I'm Ciroc. What are you talking about, Grey Goose? Like you like Grey Goose like that? I, you you sleep in my house. Oh. My brother, this is not personal. This is business. Mm. And he said, "Get your money." Uh. That's 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 a real hustler of talking course. to another hustler. He sees what it because is. we have to encourage each other to go to the next level. I would never uh, talk down to Bacardi <laughs> about. Ciroc. I drink Ciroc neck right now. Let's do it. Do like, like, it's no, let's go. I'm like, no, no, no. Because no, no, like, like, relax. 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 like, 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 you gotta relax. Like, <laughs> at this Ciroc, point, Ciroc. we all in. No, no, the no. Way, listen, the, you Ciroc. set up the speech. You set up the speech. Ciroc. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no way you set up the speech. Not the fucking apple. The apple. The apple. Ciroc. 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 Look, look. Swiss is mad strong. You know, him and Jabal, they do mad pull-ups together. No, Jabal do pull-ups. That nigga's the bomb ass. Ciroc is my family. The bartenders? Oh, yeah. Ciroc is my f- And I'm so boss yeah, I can doing. drink I'm not Fire me Okay what? let's go buddy they can't What's up Fire me, fire yeah. me. Wh- Whatever yeah. No we can't fire you Swiss No I'm nigga. talking about Bacardi fire, fire me I'm drinking Ciroc No, no, no. Do what you want to yeah, do you, Dance You really want to do this I'm doing this for the doing... culture We we, we don't oh. go against You're each other You're going down You know what I'm saying I have Puff with a Bacardi 8 Bottle in his hand Doing his dance I've seen The Puffy dance The Puffy dance Because you know what there's no big eyes and little U's. Say, oh. A lot of people want to put us against each other, but we all, when you talk about music, we all under that category. We big, are together. high, little, low, rap. Nori is under the same umbrella as Hove. Mm. Hove is under the same umbrella as Little Bootsy, oh. whether he like it or not. Mm. Or whoever, we all that fall awesome. under these genres of music. Nobody... Like the way that we think that they separated, separated, they don't. They're gonna put Nelly with whoever's out right now, because it's mainstream in the last form that they that they understood. That's they why he can go Nelly. out to uh, 
Fashion Week literally this week and perform and, and it'd be a smash hit. Mm. Smash hit, Nelly. Bang, Fashion Week, Paris. Think Nelly the biggest. Nelly to get Drake right now. Did you see that? I didn't see that. Yeah. That's they a whole thing. Nelly to Drake right now. I'm the only nigga that's seen it. That what? But you know what? You niggas look like, like Twitter, right? Yeah. Nelly got a say? drink right now? Drake. He said Drake. Drake. Oh. <laughs> All right. No, let's say it up. Well, Oh, oh, oh shit. shit. We don't need to take a shot no more. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> um, I know what time wait, it is. Wait, wait, wait. How much is going <laughs> this No, no, no. You're going to What is that? <laughs> PP in the cup? What is that? Come on, bro. No, I'm going to be honest. The apple Ciroc is nice. It's good. I like that uh, one. Man, this is where it goes. I like that Down one. Downhill, too. brother. <laughs> man, but Ciroc, Bacardi 8. That's crazy. I prefer Bacardi, brother. Y'all fuck it up. Y'all fuck it up. Y'all fucking up. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah. Yeah. That's, that's the next beat. Did I ever tell you the story? No, no, don't worry. Give him me him the realest. What the him fuck him are you gonna say about me, bro? Body. Him and his friend shared a condom. <laughs> This fucking guy. First of all, wasn't my friend number one. Number one. You didn't throw me way the fuck off. I was about to give you the real shit. He was gonna give you the real shit ever, and you came with a drunk fact. Can you tell him? But hold what on. Happened? Did you really shed the cup? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta, you gotta tell him. No, no, that's no, like, no. you know what? You know what? You live one time. Fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> fuck. <laughs> I'm not even high at least she was halfway protected. That's <laughs> 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 no, not how it went down either. Yeah, man. Yeah. You want to get it out because we didn't get it out in the Puff episode. That's why. Yeah, Puff, 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 these niggas is sharing things. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, we got it out in the Puff episode, but it got edited out in the Puff episode. Oh, yeah, right, so hold up, they going to edit me? No, 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 no. we not going to edit you. Okay. Can Puff. you just play? Cause I'm just saying. Explain. You explain. <laughs> you explain something, bro. I, I wouldn't know you. You gonna come at me? I'm gonna come at you, baby <laughs> boy. No. Explain no. something. No, no, come at me. I'm, I'm the guest. No, 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 no. no. Me listen, and him listen, are listen. Go Let me tell you something. Uh. Ask me the really shit you wanna fucking know tonight. Yeah, dude, cause I'm, you be talking about cut. me. You should I don't be talking give about a fuck. I've Whoever, done, whatever. Man. It's open. It's f- everybody's yeah, food. It's your turn. No, it's your turn. <laughs> I've been going for 90 minutes. Yeah. Let's go. Twin. What do we want to do? Who, what, when? Talk to me about whatever you want to talk to. Twin. Whoever, whatever. Yeah. I'm here. Let's go. I some some producer shit. No, no. No producer shit. The producers right. is pussy. Them Swiss. niggas is what? Obviously, <laughs> you know there's things that we don't know what to ask you. Please tell us. What to ask me? Yeah, tell us something. <laughs> um, Obviously, you know, because you know there's a lot left on the nah, table. You know, I, I can't tell you what to ask me. No, that, 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 there, is, there is. I'm doing So, wait, oh, producer, has it a sound going to have something? Producer. Who has That's our producer the right producer here. Producer has producer, it a sound. Yeah, yeah, producer, you don't want to ask production producer He wants to get is, into the real shit. Like. No, nah, but the producer thing is easy. Yeah. Mm. That's, you know, we, we didn't, we didn't, if I recap on what we did, we done shed light on a lot of different things. Oh. Now let's get into like um, personal life things. Oh shit, you wanna go there? Why not? I'm gonna respect you. The first thing I'm gonna say is that I seen in like New Year's Eve, you had your ex wife and yeah. your new wife. Absolutely. Together in the crib yeah. with the big statue with the Mickey Mouse with the X X X's in it. Jesus that was Christmas. hard. Shout the cars. That that that's hard. You had your ex wife yeah. and your yeah. That means oh, they had good relationships what? there. No, it, I, I can't I've say. I've done it. that, but it wasn't. <laughs> oh, it's not good relationships? <laughs> big Mickey Mouse. No, it was it, big, it, big, big Mickey Mouse. Mickey Mouse. No, it's real, it's real yeah. good. My you wife know, is here, yeah. and she she talks to my ex-wife. But, you know, you, both of your ex-wife is like fucking people on TV. Coño, brother. My, my ex-wife and uh-huh. my new wife mm. are both beautiful people. Uh-huh. You know what? But they just uh, wasn't on TV. And you are like a no, great no, no, guy. No. At you the end like, of the day, uh-huh. uh, we got on my marriage, currently in my ex-marriage. Mm. Um, 
me and my ex-wife, we, we were young uh, when we was dealing with what we was dealing with. I went to that wedding. You remember? Yes, I do. Wow. Yes, I do. I was late as a motherfucker. That's crazy. I remember you did. You know what I'm saying? And, no, I stopped um, smoking years ago. When, when uh, <laughs> I'm gonna let him. You should stop smoking years ago I'm too. Face his throat. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go for it. Keep going. No, yeah, we understand you know, that language. Good to you, huh? People, people could plot and plan, but people could plot and no, right? Yeah, I'm good. Sorry, sorry about that. Sorry people, about that. Sorry. Uh, people could plot and plan, but God is the best of planners. Mm. Allah is the best of planners, right? <coughs> and. Are you act? Not sorry to cut you off. Are you active Muslim? No, I'm not. But, okay. I, I believe in the Most High. I believe in multiple religions. I believe in things that relate to me. You know I'm just saying? seeing you say Muslim things. So yeah, I, 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 go, I go on uh, on and off uh, a couple of times. Okay. Just because it's just my, my grandfather. I, I grew up in. Oh, that's right. He. Uh, my name is Kasim Dawood Shamsuddin. Like absolutely. I have a full Muslim name. Yeah. Right. Um, I went to Muslim school. I speak the Muslim language. That's that's what I grew up with. None of my uncles smoke or drink to this date today in 2017. Which we should D- all wow, actually. None of them ever had a drink or, to that. or Damn, smoke they, in their those life dudes, ever. They never did. No, we never. My my. The, the thing that made Rough Rider strong was. Did you hear this? They never drank. They never smoked. And they never messed with people's women. You know what I'm saying? No, nobody ever. You know, so a female couldn't interject into the system. Mm. Drugs couldn't interject in the system. Wouldn't and the protocols it, yeah. couldn't interject into the wow, system. Wow, wow. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was real protocol there. Wow. And um, I'm, I'm, from, I'm, I'm bred from that. I started drinking and smoking at 30. Later in life. You know what I'm saying? I'm 30... Eight right now. I had to think about that shit. Eight years. Eight years. You've been doing it for eight years. I was lying all the time. Ages, right? I'm 38 right now, and... and I only been drinking and smoking for eight years because it was a violation. <gasps> what made you start drinking and smoking? Um, when I say drinking and smoking, I don't, I don't mean like I have to have it. No, no, but what? I just felt what triggered you know, it. You know what? At the end of the day, I just wanted to be rebellious. You know what I'm saying? I was, At thirty? I mean, I'm just, I'm just yeah, saying because I was trapped. And in all of the ages, my twenties and my teens before that, I was trapped into this thing that was very militant. Right. You understand? So when I had my freedom and I had my money and I had a little bit of fame. Like I do what I, I want. I wanted to be grown. Yeah. So I smoked a little weed. I smoked a cigar. I drank a little drink. And I, I literally uh, started that life at 30. Wow. You understand? And, you Makes know, uh, I can't say it was the best decision that I made. I can't say it was the worst decision right. I made. Right. It you is understand? what it is. It is what Like it you got to do what the fuck you want to do right. and live your life. I don't, like... I never been like a scared person. I could have been dead ten times. You understand? Like I've been shot at a bunch of times. I've been in situations a bunch of times. You know, uh, but one thing that I knew was honor and protocol. And I know that like, a lot of people in this industry that we come from, they don't know the basics. They don't know. The, they don't know the math. They don't know the knowledge. So they do different things that's like temperamental, right? Yeah. They don't do different things that represent uh, the culture or themselves or their families. You know, you look at how many rats that we got today. Ain't never been an extermination plan like we need today. Mm-hmm. You understand? Back then, you knew what to do and, and, and you knew what not to do. Nowadays, people don't even know what not to do. And you know why I say, you know what? I can't even blame them because they ain't had the knowledge or the influence or the team or the structure that we had for that guidance. So they lost. Mm. They lost ones. You understand? We wasn't lost ones. We, you know, we came up with protocol, obedience, discipline, repercussions, and different things that w- went against that violation. So let me ask you something before you get up out of here. I'm not going nowhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got, I'm, I'm, ready write, too- I'm ready to write my book in this motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Cause there was two different eras, right? When you say when you, when you speak about when you speak about Jay, 
Then you speak about acts, right? Oh, uh, that's two different conversations. We got it. Exactly. This, this is what I'm trying to say. And then we speak about <coughs> X. That was a certain era. Then you speak about J. Yeah. And that was a certain era, either behind or before. Yeah. What what what, what did you visualize? What did I visualize was that, you know, X put his drug habits, his hard times, his inconvenience to life, his um, his unchosen parts of life on his on his front sleeve. And no disrespect to Hove, I'm working on him and on his music right now, but he put all those things under the mansion, X put on his sleeve, which is the reason why. X would pray with people on their stage. Mm -hmm. Bloods, Crips, Bloods, gang bangers, drug dealers, whoever you named it. They had cry on stage with X. Mm. It's hard to follow with X with Can I Get Her or whatever them songs were. You understand? So that's why that uh, task had to reverse on that, on that physical stage. But, you know, Hove is a genius. He's a smart guy. And he might have... And he, 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 I have no doubt that he's going to have like the long term effect that might outlong, outlast a, a, a DMX. But he knew what his, uh, he knew what his best challenges was. Nas, DMX, maybe the two, out of a few. You understand? Know yeah. And he respect those things. He respect DMX. He respect Nas, and he respect himself. And I never ever seen him disrespect those things. You know what I'm saying? As much as those people felt disrespected in those times, I've been with Hov in a lot of real um, personal moments, and I, 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 I witness him listening to Nas. I witness him uh, giving props and respect to DMX, which is the yeah. reason why I'm happy why him and DMX communicate on the phone right now, you know? Right. Uh, now, now, if DMX would have... Signed to Rock Nation <laughs> recently. Why you want to do that to me? Go ahead. No, but I'm asking you. All the way. You, you, you really could, but I, I, I seen your statement. I personally seen your statement. He was like, yo, I, I, I don't mind that the locks is at Rock Nation, but I just don't I want never to, do. You know, throw up that, <laughs> that rock sign. Okay. Wait, um, Would you have felt the same way about um, the X? If, if, I don't if, think the dog, dog ain't throwing him no sign. Uh, at least you know. <laughs> but you know what? Let me if, tell you something. If, I seen the dog in Vegas. I said, the dog. He said, yo, your podcast is good, right? I said, yeah. Mm -hmm. I, said, I need you one more time. He said, for <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> I said, I forgot too. I don't need to. <laughs> but the, yeah. the dog. <clears throat> the dog is with you know um, <laughs> um, if the dog was to do a deal with Rock Nation mm. and was taking his kids to the next level because right. that's our main focus on this new album mm. it ain't even about him me it's about his kids and his family because that's, that's what we work hard for mm. we done had all the fun mm. we done had fun since 98 Mm. You understand? It's 2017, and so it's mm. bigger than me, him. It's about our kids. Next year, 20 years. Alhamdulillah. You understand? Alhamdulillah. You know, all. it's about dogs, kids, and I really, I really um, feel a type of way about that. Right. And I know that he feel a type of way about that. And if we can't elevate the kids, then what we was put on here on earth to do was wasted. Mm. You understand? And I believe in no wasted time on this limited time that we call life. There's only 28,000 days to this thing that we call life. I done lived 14,000 of my days, and I'm 38. So imagine where everybody else stand in this world. By the time you know the time that you spend on this world, this shit is almost fucking over. And then they can hit you with some more other shit. You understand? So I just admire the protocols and, 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 and the factors that, 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 that with, that's, that's within. You know, as far as dog, you know, you either ready or you're not ready. Mm. You understand? I look at him in his eyes, I'll fight him. 
we get into it. We done, we done scrapped many a times uh, off of love. Dog? Yes, me and, we done, we, me and dog scrapped many a times. Like We fight. Oh. Physical, hands, knuckles. That blood, blood. shit. Black eyes. Oh. And then we shoot out for each other for survival, too. That's in his book. I protected his life many a times, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it was just nature. Mm. You're not gonna do nothing to him. That's my brother. You know what I'm saying? And, and one thing I gotta tell you about Dog, he's the most genuine person I met. Mm. If you look at all his crimes that they talk about, it ain't never been about no real crimes. It been about governmental prime, crimes. Mm. Him joking with police, this thing. You ain't never seen no news in, uh, with X about him hurting a person or doing bodily harm or doing something really disrespectful to anybody. It's been about small things. Mm. You understand? And for him to be able to maintain uh, his capabilities in this music industry to be small things, but the media want to backlash on him for big things and for him to have his stride and to be focused today, man, that man, he, he got a song called Cancer Survivors. Mm. Right? Is it about cigarette niggas? Because I'm about to smoke cigarettes. Nah, this is hey, about not, this is about not smoking fucking cigarettes. Nah. Cancer survivors, cancer. This guy's horrible. And this is he's talking real. about he's, he's talking about his grandmother that died from cancer. Mm. And the cancer survivors really are the people that survive from people that lost ones to cancer. Mm. But also the people that survive cancer mm. that's still living in regrets of cancer. Mm. You understand? He got a song called Fool's Gold. Mm. Where many of these guys are poor kings. Big mansions, yachts, this, that, and third. Absolutely. They have everything but have nothing. He talks about that. And he got a letter, he got a song called Letter to My Son. That's gonna make every father in the industry change their life. Mm. I promise you. And and, and and we're gonna go gutter. We're gonna go bang this back. We're gonna go all that shit. But that Grammy that he's gonna get on that stage, that I promise you, everybody in this room, is gonna be because of these songs with substance that's gonna be able to connect back to culture. Are we making some noise for that right now? Yeah. Are we yeah. taking another shot? I, I, let's go. I like that you're nice. I like that you're not even here, but you're here. Both of them are nice. I, I have been here for a long time. <laughs> you are here. In know. the physical. But in the mental, shh. <laughs> 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 What's going on? 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 What's going Are we taking one more shot? No. Say one more shot. Why nah, not? You, all right, fuck it. I'll say one more shot. Let me put my hands so I can hear the shot. I can't believe you're here, twin. Twenty time, twin, 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 twin. Yo, let me tell you something. I was gonna throw a beat on. We can freestyle. Let me tell you something. Let's go. I love this guy right here. Right, yeah, twin. We're not gonna talk about what happened. What happened? What happened? But we love this guy. I can't believe he's here. Yeah, 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 I can't Oh, yeah. Yo, it's your fault, bro. It's my fault. It's, it's, oh. <laughs> it's your fault, bro. I already hear my father for you, Swiss. That's what happens. I need that nigga. That's what job, happens, bro. bro, on Dream Champs, bro. Dream Champ. Dream Champ. Let me some noise for Dream Champs. Hey! hey! Can you do that one more time so we can sample that real yeah, quick? Listen, <laughs> one time we're gonna do that for Dream Champ Showtime. Oh! God damn it! I need this to be the illest fucking interview. Do not let me leave unless this is your nah, best it's, interview. It's, you've already hands down. No, no, seriously. Do not trust us. Trust us, brother. No, trust no, us, bro. Like seriously. Do trust us, I got Bacardi. like whoever y'all want. Let's go. Keep doing this. Oh listen, let's go. listen. Trust I want us. this to be the best fucking interview on Drink Chance because. Hey, hey, no, him, I love him. Ah. I love him, man. And I love y'all because he love y'all. 
But I, I, I started off loving him. I want this to be the most rated. Actually, no, it's gonna be amazing. Yeah, like the gold blood. Ever. This, this, is how you, this is how you start. No, yeah. seriously. This ask me. Like, like the gold blood. Whatever y'all want to get into. And just into, pass it to me. Just whatever y'all, whatever y'all want to get you into. Give him the heroin. Give him the heroin. Ask Relax. me the most controversial <laughs> shit tonight. I'm ready. I'm Boy, ready to fuck that you. That shit ran away from me. It's the first episode I came back to, so you know what I mean? This is my dog right here. Yo, yo, this you know is a look. That's, that is now twin. Now you're a good soul, bro. Let me tell you something. I got you. Nah, nah, I yo, got twin, you. I don't got you dare try to stand up. Nah, 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 nah. nah. Relax. Nah, nah, nah. nah, nah. Look, look. Relax. Twin yo. is moving forward listen, in life right listen, now, dog. Listen, listen. Switch. This is a good soul. Nah, this nah, brother right nah, here. Nah. No, 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 let me, let me keep it real with you. Who's this motherfucking table fucking fuck? I'm going to keep it real with you. Damn, bro. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I didn't mean to get emotional. <laughs> I'm fucking well, emotional. All right. No, 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 let me, let me break it down. Since the beginning we started this show, Twain came with me. That's my little man right Since there. Since you started the show? Since yeah, we started yeah. the show. We started the show, not me. We started the show. I'm going to tell you something. You don't Wait, hold on, hold on. Let me. let me finish. Let me finish. And what was it? Downtown? Yeah, my, in my office. The old Biscayne. office. Tell them. It was in Biscayne. Yeah. yeah. Right by Bayside. Good. I can't finish the story. No, we, still, <laughs> we, did, the first, we did the first two shows. Good. Kenny Anderson and Fat Joe. Kenny Anderson was yeah. first. Fat yeah. Joe was second. Mm-hmm. But Fat Joe came out first. All right. Yeah. And my man was there the whole time. That's right. I'm going to tell you one. something. Mm. From this night on, we dedicate 5% of the show to this brother. Let's do it. Like, 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 if he meant that to us, and I know who he is, in 2.1 seconds, I I knew that before we even did what we did over there. Mm. You know, um, we all we got. Mm. I'm saying, we all we got. And and we can't expect for somebody to recognize us. Yeah, more than we re- let me tell you something. Ourselves. Can I say something? They they started a go fund me. Let's relax. <laughs> Slam them through. Slam them I got my nigga. <laughs> I got my nigga. <laughs> don't don't they little go. Relax. <laughs> this, this nigga did, did that. I don't Hold know. On, I, I don't know. know. Did that. But slam them. Slam them over to go find me. But you know you can call me. You ain't got no fucking go good. Okay. Exactly. Give me five. Give me five. <laughs> we don't do the go fun. Give him ten. Slime, you with me, slime. <laughs> slime. <laughs> we don't do that. Snags, wake up. We got the recovery. You know I'm all in. Doesn't wake matter up. if I go broke, it's okay. Together! God damn it. <laughs> Relax! I didn't like it. What? You with me forever. Inshallah. Because you drink chance fucking army, brother. <laughs> right, Ali? Uh, Ali, can I, you... I mean what I say. No, I mean we're going to make sure Seriously. everything is, is taken care of. Relax. Relax. Right. Relax. Because listen, been relaxed. If, I, if I act, if I, <laughs> if I be too nice to you, the fans are not going to like it. Hey. So God, 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 God. Come on, say something. You, you know, you know, you know, we got you, Twin. We don't need Cardi to go find you. Like Cardi A only. I believe in this show since day one. And I told Slime, there's going to be millions of subscribers. And I said no. it in episode 11. And as an outsider perspective. I already smoked. I knew this when I saw Slime talking to Fat Joe. I was like, "Yo, mm. this is not an interview. This is a conversation From the of, of, of hip hop. Like, yes. this is inside. This is deep. This is raw. Until so people really want to know facts. So that's why I was Snapchatting the whole shit. Facts. And Slime was like, "Yo, Twin, no Snapchat. I, I got him in trouble. Yo, Snapchat First duties. Uh, so that's facts. when." You know, Craig was like, yo, stop bullying my little man or whatever. Yeah, tell him. Tell him. Yeah, tell him. and it's crazy. That shit came out on, on Revolt and all that. So, uh, yeah. I just knew I was Good morning, where, 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 where you from? I'm, you from I'm, my, I'm from Dominican Republic, my nationality, yeah, okay. but my parents are, my dad's from, you know, Washington Heights and my mother. Nice, okay. 
My mother's from Santo Domingo, you know, Santiago. Same. And the Dreamcast family yeah. miss you. That's right, yeah. yeah. He's he, he been man. here from day one since we started this. Word. And, 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 and the fans, they miss you, so keep talking to them for right yeah, it's my It's my pride and joy, man. I, I've right. seen, I did this out of heart, you know what I mean? Like, just the whole supporting and... Right. I've seen the I seen the bigger picture. Okay. Uh, I saw I saw the since episode one. Uh, I saw the bigger picture. I, uh, I see it, and there's still more to come. Right, because you about to make yourself cry. Let's talk about somebody. Let's talk about your cousin sticking your finger in your ass. Yeah, what? Oh, what? Let's speak some real man, shit. Man, cause, man, it's called digital oh. stimulation. With a girl. Oh, she, she done. Done. It's called yeah. digital stimulation. It's called digital stimulation. It's called digital stimulation. That's the colon No, because you know, when. No, keep real. When you are. When you're paraplegic, paralyzed, waist down, um, you know, you you have no controls over your, your shit or your piss. So. One, I gotta mm. take out my pee every certain amount of hours, and uh. I gotta, you know, I gotta shit a certain amount of days. So, you know, since your body's not moving as much, right. you know, you get constipated. So, it's called digital stimulation, cuz. You thought you I don't feel it though. Shit, as long as when I start feeling that shit, I do not want none of that shit. Yo, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> We got you at Drink Chant. No, I know. You've been having me, my brother. We got you, you, we got you, you got at Drink Chant. And if the people are listening in, and you want to, you know, whatever. But listen, when I, you my, you my family. And I told them, I said, don't start no gun. Go nah, fund me, that. none of that nah. dumb shit. shit. I told them, I said, I don't, because cause, cause you know why? I got you. Yeah. And... I could care less. Oh, la, la, la. <laughs> 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 la, 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 la. Relax. Relax. Conversations. Relax. 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 I understood what he said. But then, uh, then, 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 you know, I understand. But relax. Yeah. <laughs> I'm relaxed, man. This is right. this is a blessing, but, you know. I'm, you I'm know here. why? I, there's nobody else in this world that I see everybody love as much as they love you, twin. And we're gonna continue right. to support that. Facts. You know why? Your fucking shit. And I don't give a fuck. I I go. I'm gonna go broke. No, I'm gonna make sure my family's okay first. <laughs> <laughs> but then everything left. Everything, everything left. I'm gonna make sure a twin is okay. Yeah. Man, because we and, and we don't. But we're gonna make sure DC twin is okay. Uh, Fact. Because we good, man. you started with us and you're gonna end with us. And we see you stand up. What's the, what's the the guy? It's yeah. 1800 a month Tell them niggas relax Tell them niggas <laughs> You niggas. got 12 months Already Smash paid the All right. Cause we're gonna make sure You continue to walk So You wanna talk to the mic Yeah Say yeah, something yeah. to the people Nah mm. just no man I, I do everything out of heart When you do everything Out of heart Everything plays alright Right. And sometimes things happen, but you can't question the man upstairs. Right. At right. the end of the day, right. it's just, there's, some, there's a reason behind it. And it's faith, it's energy, and God is the creator of science. Yeah. That's why I don't go fuck with them doctors told me. Mm. Right. You know what I'm saying? Whatever. Never the, give yeah. me and I'm, like I said, I'm prepared for whatever. Yeah. But I know I got a good team behind me, you know, I got a great family. Right. Like you know My drink champs family Like I you know. Talk to your fans Cause yeah. oh, Every time you go oh, live man. I see how many fans You got man Nah man Hey Joe yeah. Shout out niggas from Pakistan oh, Yeah you got Pakistan, 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 Pakistan. Pakistan. <laughs> Shout out to the New Zealand niggas man right. Shout out London man yeah. UK Everybody's loyal dog like West Coast man Just everybody man Just You're Swiss you shit know, is I real. just want I just want to break it down You know When we started this shit We just wanted. We just—it was just a, a cool of us, just yeah. 
retardedly, because you know we're retarded. <laughs> Everybody and, crazy. And it, it just kept blowing, blowing, blowing. Yeah. And Twin was a part of the first episode. Wow. And Fat Joe called me. This is how I knew it was retarded. This Fat Joe called me and said, Why you bet? He said, You mad? You be mean to this nigga. He took him on <laughs> yeah, him. Yeah, word. Nah, I just gonna pick him. that out. <laughs> and, and I'm like, Damn. Like, but. So everybody in our crew is. has duties. That's what you said. Yeah. Huh? Everybody in our crew has duties, whether you big or small. Everybody uh. got in our crew got duties. Facts. That's right. And we all got to stick together. That's a yeah. fact. And Swiss yeah. beats. We're going to... Let's, let's all... Everybody, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. And R.E. Man from TV for Life. Yeah. Whatever hey, you got to we got to big you up as a father right now. Thank you, man. I love my kids. As a father. My kids changed my life. Mm. You know, my kids made me put boundaries on what I would do and what I won't do. Mm. You know, our kids, they ain't, none of them asked to be here. Mm. You understand? We we, we might be in our situ- we might be in our situation while we're here. But when them kids come, they ain't asked to be here. We got to protect them from Absolutely. all the different things that we ain't even prepared for, you know. Mm. I have fun with my kids. I'm a class clown with my kids. Mm. You know what I'm saying? My dad wasn't, you know, most of our dads wasn't there for us. You know, we got to spend more time than coming with less excuses. You understand? It's and easy you got the big excuse. Mickey Mouse in your career. Yo, that's <laughs> the Mickey Mouse, the Mickey Mouse that... That what is that? About that's like a wood. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, that was from uh, that was purchased from the Brooklyn Museum. That's from an artist named Cars. You know that that was his biggest uh, sculpture he did at that particular time. I I, 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 I decided to drop the drink and invest what, in that. What the, neighborhood the was that? That wasn't um Verona. No, I live in Jersey. No, yeah. Verona, New Jersey. Like, no, I'm in Jersey now? Englewood. That, that's where the big shit is yeah, at? Eddie Murphy, Old Englewood, Crib. Jersey? Yeah. Eddie Murphy, Old Crib. Yeah. That's not, um, yeah. that's not, um, what, what neighborhood no, is that? No, that's not Pomona. That's, that's, that's life after Pomona. That's Eddie Murphy, Old Crib uh, with a 40 feet. That's a 40 feet uh, sculpture in the house. And the reason why I bought that was because I, I seen a lot of people in our culture not really, um, Giving it up, so you know the forty feet can hand their wally ass in the house. Come to the Brooklyn Museum, and I just want to inspire people that come to the crib to understand that art is a blessing. Mm-hmm. And when they walk through the crib, they see everything from that forty feet to twelve by twelve. Mm-hmm. You know, so it's an entry point. You can afford this, and you can work your way up to that. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? But I see a lot of my peers. They put you know different. Uh, High branded artists in their house that never connect to them. Everybody in the Dean Collection I know personally. Wow. You understand? Know I, I started the Dean Collection as a, a personal gallery for my family. Mm. And then I seen how many lives I was changing from the things I was buying. Then I started, I gave my, I gave my uh, social media platform to all those up and coming artists, which started no commissions. Mm. 100% back so to So let me artists. ask you one thing before you get up out of here. I ain't so, going um, we, I don't here. Um, What's up? On that Cash Money tour, oh, it was like shit. it was like you yeah, against right Manny there. Fresh. Me against Manny Fresh. Yeah. Like I mean, because I mean, are the comparisons. So, on that Cash Money tour, Rough yeah. Rider tour, that was the first. So what happened? <laughs> ain't nothing happened. What, what was supposed to happen? No, 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 I ain't gonna lie. I gotta take a piss. Oh, like yeah. I'm 17 taking a piss hours. Yeah. Yeah. You're no, taking a piss, I'm taking a piss. That's why I bought you the pamper that you have on. Damn, Don't you worry about it. You brought you the pamper? Yeah, I got another the diapers. What? The appendix. You got a pamper. I got a diaper. No, but on, on, on the cash money tour. On the cash money tour. Yeah. It's you guys. <laughs> hmm. It's you guys. I'm tuned in. It's day guys. Yeah, yeah. Uh, X got <laughs> the hottest record in the East Coast at that particular time, mm-hmm. and then Juvenile, Cash got, Money, and Cash Boom. Money, Killing they got it. they got the hottest record. They kill it. Who was closing? That's what's up. Who was closing? 
Like, this, this is a tour? Nah, yeah, I'm talking about Rough Rider Cash Money tour is very easy. Some nights they'll close out, some nights we'll close out. Mm. You know, um, Depend on the region? Yeah, it, it wasn't It wasn't like uh, Rough Rider's uh, Rockefeller tour, you understand? Right. Mm -hmm. the, uh, Rough Rider Cash Money tour was different. The only thing is that, you know, we had to give a lot of choppers to them to handle it. To handle their personal beefs. Choppers, yeah. you said? Yeah, yeah, choppers. We had to get a lot of choppers. Literally, in. choppers. Uh, yeah, you, uh, okay, yeah, so it went down. 16 okay. plus, and they're all them things. Uh, we had to get yeah. choppers to them to uh, get out of them uh, personal situation that they had because of the jealousy uh, of the South, that the South had uh, between them at that particular time right. that, that we didn't understand. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So we got tired of. Um, Going out, going out after the show and dancing. So he's like, you know what? Here go your work. We got mm. our work. You know what I'm saying? Everybody, a man for themselves, and they just gotta go. You know. Mm. Uh, shout out to the entire Cash Money. I fuck with them all. They, they mm. all, they all very talented, and um, we had a lot of fun. Uh huh. <laughs> Point blank. <laughs> <there. laughs> God damn it! Yeah, legendary. You remember this? You remember that? Yup. Yeah. 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 It's going down. I don't want to, cause Swiss don't want to end. Nigga, I'm wanna. so ready. Whatever y'all so want to go. He's go. still ready to go. But I gotta take a piss. Yo, I'm so I'm peeping right now, bro. Ready number two. Relax. I'm going to the second one. Look at the look at the white people. Poem. More <laughs> than that. I respect it. Uh, yo, you see the you see they pour more drinks. Who? The white people. <laughs> we in Illuminati. You gotta accept it. Talk at this at this Trump? point. No, me and you. What are we doing? Accept it. Illuminati. No, no, no. Yeah, I'm definitely not in the Illuminati. Fuck out of here. Exactly. That, that's the problem. Right there. I'm not accepting it. Oh, you want to be in the Illuminati? No, man. You've been in it. You've been in it. You're stupid. You retarded. Get the fuck out of here. I'm not in the fucking Illuminati. You've been in it already. Get the fuck out of here, dude. I've seen the checks you cash. Bruh, same checks you cash, man. <laughs> Fuck out of you here. You get it first. <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about, man? You get it first. I get what first? <laughs> the checks. <laughs> oh, so you blaming me for CBS? Yeah, that's checks? crazy, no, man. I'm telling you, you're an Illuminati. That's no, no, no Illuminati. No, 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 <laughs> fuck the Illuminati. Hey, Illuminati, fuck you. No. And fuck where the fuck you came from. Whoa. 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 Right that was EFN. Yeah, it's EFN. I ain't about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> From the white people. I'm a Cuban motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. <laughs> respect that. Yeah, respect <laughs> that shit. God damn it. Look, Swiss is like, what's going on? Nah, yeah, he, that lost me with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this guy just came with some crazy shit. Don't don't blame it on me. Yeah, I'm blaming it on you. The checks come to you. Listen, Donald Trump. The checks come to you. <laughs> I ain't got the check yet, bro. You get mad at me for that. 2016, 17, we talking about checks. That's, That's your fault. That's, That's, That's your fault. Relax. Oh, what the fuck? Oh, my God. Yo, Swiss, Yo, Swiss, Yo, Swiss you like hot sauce like that, man? <laughs> this is hot sauce. I promise you. That's pipe sauce. That's the sauce. So what's your favorite That's rap of all time, sauce. Swiss? DMX. DMX? Yeah, man. Who's your favorite CEO of all time? Get ready, man. Clive Davis. Oh, man. You're Clive Davis. You're in backwards. All right. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go six, 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 six degrees of... Okay. Who's your favorite new nigga of all time? How a new nigga going to be all time? Uh, new nigga. New nigga. Uh, all time? No, no. Even new no nigga time. right now. That I'm could sorry. be Kendrick. That could be Kendrick. I'm just saying. Relax. Who's, who's snorted my, like that? My favorite new person? Yeah, new person. I ain't, I ain't meet him yet. Oh, okay. Mm, good answer. Yeah. Good one, man. Mm. Yeah. I wasn't ready. <laughs> now we regroup. <would> <laughs> okay. It was a new part? That's horrible. Relax. Relax. 
Fuck Man, I swear to God, we got a like fucking like butcher shop behind us. <laughs> Chinese I'm sorry, a separation that's happening in the air. Chinese restaurant in the back. <laughs> I need some Chinese. I'm working wings right now. Yo, can God somebody give us some dumplings? I'm going that shit. Yo, well, snacks. Find out where the wings at. I'm going right there. Lemon pepper. Lemon pepper. Kapanka panka. Raka bing bong. Raka panka panka. Ask me. Talk to me. What are you doing? Good, good. Ask that shit turn. right now. No, it's maka haya bing bong. That's all I have to say. Maka haya bing bong. We want to get doing a shot tag of bowl. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Shot tag of bowl. Absolutely. absolutely. I'm no more shot. I, I took no, hot no, sauce. No, no, Tiger Bone is a shot that I has to be had. I took hot sauce. Tiger Bone is a problem. Listen, I got to go to bed. I can't be all piped yes, up. Yes, I have to go to no bed, too. We're all human beings. I'm in the city by myself. <laughs> We're all the same My human beings. You, you made that point. Oh, I poured too much. My yeah, give me your shot, buddy. No, no. I'll take it. Oh, okay, you take this one. Give me your shot. Give me your Give me a little bit. Some wings. Wait, wait, wait. One shot. Relax. Relax. The Paco, give me the fucking shot glass. I don't want I need a shot glass for shot glass. Legend. It's organic. I can take it. You can take your shot. <laughs> Where's your shot glass, Swiss? Swiss. He's good. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't hitting that uh, tiger. Uh, this is it. Uh, oh, oh, no, no, I'm not giving you. What the fuck is that? I'm not going to do that to him, bro. Why would you do that? Why would you, why, why would you do that? My lip is good. There you go, bro. Now you're good. No, that's good. Nah, Trust me. No, wait, bro. Come on, man. You too? You're out of here? Oh shit. <laughs> oh shit, I, I could dance like Michael Jackson. <laughs> Damn. Oh, man. Not I know it's that bitch. Oh shit. Alright, I'm out of here, bro. Later, well, guys. One of the dopest. <laughs> no, I'm out of here. Bye, 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 bye. I'm out of here. Yo, peace. Yo, man, give me five. Yo, yo, give me five. Yo, can I ask him a producer question real quick? Wait. Okay, oh, go. this guy wants to come. One of the dopest. Oh, one of the dopest Instagrams I ever seen. Instagram, huh? Was when you was with your ex-wife and your new wife. Yeah. <laughs> that was dope. You know, um, progress is the key to life. Well, that's, you know, a lot of people. It's my fucking shit. Sorry, excuse me, Swiss. Nah, that's the all tiger good. bone just fucked me up. It's all good. Go ahead. You know, um, my um, divorce was a very hard time in my life. And um, to be able to have my ex-wife and my current wife in great standards, great form due to our kids and Beautiful. put our kids first, you know, that was like one of my biggest highlights ever in life. You know what I'm saying? Like, serious. Every man can wish for that. Yeah, because like, a lot of the gossip, a lot of people that, they, you know, the reason why... We don't they, care about gossip No, but, but let me tell you something. The reason why I was able to handle even gossip different was because I understood why people hate. Mm. People hate you, people hate to use it as a cure for their insecurities. Mm. Yeah. They use hate to use it as a form for them to lift up from their problems. Mm. I was like, that's why hate is so popular. Mm. That's why negative Absolutely. news is it's better than good news. Well, absolutely. Because it's a cure to people's Insecurities that they got to deal with every day. So if you could look at a Swiss Beats and Alicia Keys life, and it's not uh, perfect, and you could pull yourself up from that for two minutes, that's the view um, that you're inclined to have to feel better about yourself that day, even though you ain't did shit about yourself that day. You know what I'm saying? So for my ex-wife and my current wife to come to standards because of kids and Forget about the fame and the publicity. You know what I'm saying? That was the greatest time of my life. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. And we got chapters for that coming. That that wasn't that was the beginning, you know? Relax. Monday. I've been relaxed. I've been relaxed since I sit in this mother. Yo, this thank you. Yo, you know what, Swiss? You know what? Because uh-huh. We appreciate you for coming. I just here. wanted to give you the best interview ever. Nah, you gave way more than that. Nah, bro. because like, way knowing, more than that. Like I know him. <laughs> I know him. I'm not here for no other reason but to contribute 
to what you guys have going on being great. So that's why I'm like, ask me whatever, handle whatever. Yeah. Like, I don't, I don't feel I gotta talk to anybody. I don't owe, yeah. I don't owe anybody an explanation of any of my past, present, or what I'm about to do because mm. I grind really hard for that. But you know, I'm like, yo, I'm on my, my brother's show, yeah. and whatever he want from me, I'm gonna give it to him. Mm. Problems, no problems, or whatever. After that, we just got to deal with it. We've been dealing with that shit all our life. It's nothing. This man then created a platform and figured that out that's bigger than music. And I'm happy to see him shining in 2017 and beyond. And I, I'm happy. I'm really happy to be here, like, for real. Thank you. I, I came here with a bunch of corporate people. And yeah, we love them corporate people. You know what I'm saying? I came yeah, here. Yeah. corporate niggas over here. I came here with my corporate team. To support in our Give me couple like, niggas over there. We at Zuma, we going to Nori's show. Let's go. That's right. You know what I'm saying? And then we going to Zuma in the morning. Where's, where's Zuma? And we going to 11, 11, 11, 11 in the morning. Uh, 11? Yeah, 11 from Zuma. 11, 11 to is Nori tonight. To 11. Mm. I'm right, going to bed. Because nigga tired uh, from that goddamn right. yeah, Texas, that's true, Dubai, going. Thailand life. Yeah, but, but Swiss... We but how you think it's tan? Like, what the fuck are you using <laughs> on, on this it's tan? Like, it's not, it's not Mama, almost at Miami tan. What they can done on tan? Like, <laughs> what they use on the tan? <laughs> That's a crazy right, tan. Great scholar. accent, buddy. <laughs> you don't know Fabio? Fabio, you know Fabio? You don't know Fabio? Fabio. 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 Come on, you tell me. Don't tell me. Tell me about Fabio. Let me tell you something. I wear Versace. <laughs> <laughs> Fabio's a good guy. You know, I shave my balls. I'm clean. I have no hair on my under. I have no chest hairs. You know, this guy's of a Pepe Le Pew. You know? <laughs> Fabio Noriega. Fabio. You know? Fabio's hard. You know, Fabio's hard. What, 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 Fabio's what, what, hard on you know, the ground. But, 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 but. You know, he coming with a mink coat. We kill animals. <laughs> Fuck it. Fabio. Hey, Noriega. Uh, <laughs> uh, yo, Fabio is hard on the ground. Yeah, Fabio, he needed. He's on the ground. The, 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 the show I got written for Fabio is disrespectful, crazy. Uh, <laughs> Fabio's a problem. Uh, Fabio, look at Fabio look at show up there. We be like Fabio. <laughs> Ali's <laughs> looking her. No, Ali <laughs> is looking like. He want, he want in on the Fabio show. No, Fabio. Fabio. This yes. Fabio. It's not Fabio. Fabio. Is it Fabio or Fabio? Stop stressing. Juice press. Juice press. Juice Relax. press. <laughs> Everybody laughs. And we got the Bacardi people. Look at look at my man Woo. from Boy Le Ron. <laughs> Yo, Come on, man. The other Bacardi that people done faded out on the left there. I'm like, oh, look at him. He's from Boiler Room. Where's no, Bacardi? Tell, yeah. him, tell him, tell him, tell him, tell Nori what's your love for hip hop. How you know him? From Boiler Room. Tell him. <laughs> no, I've seen that. Sure, no, no, no. Sorry, tell him. Come tell in. him how you Come know Norega. From Boiler Room. Talk to his mic. Tell him how you know Norega. He's from I, Boiler Room. No. Talk no, to his no, mic. No, Here fuck Boiler Room. Tell him how you his know. microphone. <laughs> I grew up in Miami in the 80s. Oh, man. shit. Okay. So, <laughs> I, I ain't no 80s. Cocaine time. Damn, you from the 80s, dog? But listen, but listen, listen to him, Nori. Listen to him. What'd he say? Grew up in Miami in the 80s. Mm. And how you know Noriega? In the 80s? I, I, I well, was, I was, I was in the alive. 90s when I really heard you. Mm. What was the Monday. first song you knew about him? Thanks, Swiss, for putting me on the spot. Well, well, what? <laughs> Just say well, well, what? Super thug. Super thug. Let's yeah, say yeah, super thug. Yeah, yeah. Relax. He was <laughs> super thug. Swiss, I'm going to give it real. You fail. I'm going to give it real. He's not, no, he's he's not nice. a great candidate. I spoke to him. <laughs> Yo. Yo, we Tim it down. I had too much for Cardi. <laughs> Yo, Timothy <laughs> McVeigh. No, no, no. He's not no, a good no. candidate. Yeah, that, that was the best. That was the best fan ever. Unless we can cut him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can cut that. That's Yo, Paul. Relax. Yo, Paul, can you shit? Oh, that's that's relax that. him. Man. Okay, ask me the realest fucking question you ever thought about okay, in your life. Okay. Now we're going to end this show right now. I'm going to ask you to end this quiz show. No, we will never end the show. I want the... I want... Ask me the realest question you ever wanted to ask me in your life. Let's go. This is Nori. This is Drink Champs. Yeah, question? What's your question? Ask that. No, the realest go, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. The realest question go ahead. you ever wanted me to Don't answer in my life. Who won the bottle between Jay and DMX? 
Well, you got scared. Yeah, Max, nigga. Balls, uh, jump was into that. the mic. That's too easy, shit. N O R E. Then I know you heard. I know you heard. I know you niggas heard when you did that video <laughs> where he told you what it was gonna be about. Yeah, do it. Did you know what you gonna do it? Man, my nigga. I love you, rock. I love you, motherfucking shit. Can you drink, champ? I need. The realest question Paul, ever. Paul, <laughs> what the fuck, Paul? Paul, <laughs> oh, what the fuck? It's just a drink. It's just a drink. We're going to excuse him for the day. <laughs> you made me cough on everybody. Give me the realest question you want to ask me tonight on Drink yeah, Chat. Yeah, 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 I'm not scared of you motherfuckers. I got a sap I say hat on tonight. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, good. Ask yeah, me the realest question right? tonight while we're on Drink Champs so what we can get these ratings out this door. What the fuck is the question we ask? That's not you. The only question you guys ask. What? The only main question you guys ask. I got a question real quick. Do you? I got a question. Do you? It's a normal question. Do you what? Do you eat ass? <laughs> yeah. 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 You That's gotta do it. You gotta do that in my fucking life. I ain't about to. Yeah, man. Yes, sir. What the fuck are you asking me, bro? Come on, go on. I'm completely confused. Dude, oh, man, you got the mic right here. Yeah. Oh, do you eat ass? <laughs> Not a day in my fucking life. Why the fuck would I eat ass? Oh, oh fuck it. Yeah. Yeah. Ask me to ask you that. You don't want to do hot sauce. Damn. Where you going? Where you going? Is that liquor? Nah. That's hot sauce. That's that drunk sauce. Is that That's how drunk sauce. Swiss, my brother. What's up? Yeah. How's it? How's it? How does it feel to be married to Alicia Keys? Oh, you took my question. That was your question? Yeah, I know you had. Yeah, um, like. What's that? Do you forget sometimes? <laughs> like, you know, like. Um. You know, my wife is a special person. Beautiful. Yeah, That's she, respect. She, she Let's up. make some noise, please. Yeah, continue. Let's make some noise. Yeah, continue. You know, she, she woke up at 7, 6 a.m. in the morning and said she's going to the Women's March. Wow. Mm. I, I was tired. <laughs> it's the Women's March. You want me to come with you? She said, no, this is the Women's March. Okay, go to the Women's March. Mm. Take them shooters with you, you know, take them, right? As long as you protect them, I'm good. But she really about that life, and she's been about that life uh, way more than uh, way more than publicized. You know, I went. I remember going to Africa with her. Wow. And going to like four hospitals and seeing her face in these hospitals. And at the last hospital, I was like, "Babe, why they got your face in in these hospitals?" She said, um, "These are my hospitals." I said, "Whoa, you own these hospitals?" I'm married to her. Wow. She ain't even tell me all these hospitals wow. she went to. She built them shits. She owned them hospitals. She ain't even tell me as her husband that she owned those hospitals. Wow. Like, it didn't mean nothing to her because the gift that she was giving back meant so much more. Yeah. You understand? That's who I'm dealing with. She's another wow. type of zone. Wow. I ain't never seen... Uh, nobody angel. operating on, 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 on this Definitely an particular angel. It's an angel level. from heaven now. Seriously. Yeah. We in Africa, in the trenches. I'm not talking about Africa. I'm talking about Africa. Africa. Right? <laughs> two different, yeah. It's two different tones to that shit. Right, right, right. It's like Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens. <laughs> like, it's two different zones to that. So I'm going to Africa, and I'm seeing, like, people living and making it off of being uh, 30 pounds and surviving off of a medicine that they're able to afford. And I never knew that my wife was affording them this medicine. You know wow. what I'm saying? Like she never ever told me the story. I didn't even know why we was even in Africa. In the I just knew that we was going there and I was going with her. Wow. And I seen these people getting the antiviral medicine, um, something that they couldn't afford. And I'm like, damn, we're losing all these people for no reason. And I seen all these people survive under her watch. You understand? Know My wife feed over 300,000 people a year and wow. never talk about it. Wow. 300,000 over. Her own money, her own grind, her own things. Never talk about it. I'm like, this is her. 
You went to her own husband. You know what I'm saying? This is this yeah. is she another type of That's thing. Crazy. I, I got a lot of work to do even still today. <laughs> wow. I got a lot of work to do. You know what I'm saying? She put me on my A game. Seriously. Uh, That's real. Like, yeah, give me the hard fucking question. Like, what are we doing? <laughs> I'm just, I, I know you get hands. I, I just wanted to ask. I'm like privileged to ask. I was getting crazy, like, right? What? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When did you realize that you could uh, like change or help out the, uh, the art, game, the visual arts? The what? The visual arts. Um, um, the, the boys, uh, <laughs> he, 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 he's speaking about no, no commissions, a little bit. Um, I noticed, I noticed that I can help out the visual arts when I just knew that the sonic arts was was um, oversaturated, and I, I could have came in the game with no commissions music and give the musician one hundred percent of what they sold. But I was so I was just so tired of. Even talking about music, it was just an old thing to me, and I seen that my way out was art because it was something that was still untapped, and it was something that um, hasn't been abused, but abused. Mm. It hasn't been abused the way that we witness abuse, mm. but it still had been abused. But I seen that the abuse that they went through was still a capture, and we can still capture that. It's like, mm, we got whipped. <laughs> Beat, stomped out, kicked out, set on fire. <laughs> they just got punched in their fucking face for talking <laughs> stupid. You know what I'm saying? So I figured that the arts can be saved. And I had fun doing it because it was untapped territory for me. I was literally tired of talking about things that we can excel in doing the music industry because it was so jaded. You mm. understand? We were so spoiled and mm. um, it was driving so much traffic. And the music industry didn't want to invest in technology. They didn't, they didn't want to invest in future living. And so, you know, I seen all those different things front row. And I seen art as something that was still on that rebellious line of whatever we want to do. And I seen those lines of confidence. I seen those lines of expression. And I say, like, yo, I want, I, I want to get behind that. You know what I'm saying? That, I know they don't want a problem over here. You know, so on the street level, I felt mm. comfortable. On a, on, a, on a visual level, I felt comfortable. On an artistic level, I felt comfortable, and that's, and that's what I went with. Mm. Yeah. 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 Yeah.